Chapter 1641 Silver Tree Demons Translator Born to be the huge gates were actually a giant transportation formation, and the black channel they had seen beyond it was a projection. Long Chen and the others had already entered, so Di Shen didn't tarry. He walked in, followed by Han Fifi, Shen Bijin, Wang Shan, and dozens of other powerful Empyreans. Only after those experts had entered did the rank 8 and rank 9 celestials follow. That was to be safe. However, this safety measure meant that they were leaving the first opportunities for the first group. They would always be one step behind. Long Chen had just walked through the gates when space twisted around him. A dark and sinister aura crashed down on him. They had yet to even land on the ground when the withered trees on the ground sprang to life. Countless roots shot out of the ground at them. Endless wind waves. Tang Wan'er formed a hand seal, and a sea of wind blades exploded, cutting those roots to pieces. Don't get entangled with them. Their true bodies are underground, and it's difficult for us to do any real damage to them if they only use their roots to attack. Moving on is more important, said Chu Yao. The Skywood Divine Palace had to deal with these tree demons all year round, so Chu Yao knew how crafty and difficult to deal with they were. Suddenly, Cloud summoned the true body of a cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. With a single flap of her wings, the roots were blown to bits. The terrifying astral winds tore through the ground, making Long Chen jump in shock. This was Long Chen's first time seeing Cloud use her real power after advancing to the 10th rank. She was truly worthy of being a legendary existence. Her power was not inferior to Hu Islands at all. It was just that Cloud didn't have a divine item. Carrying the four of them, Cloud transformed into a ray of light that shot deeper into these lands. Tree roots continued to spring out of the ground and attack them, covering the sky with their numbers. However, Cloud charged straight through them in the most direct, most barbaric method. Cloud was incredibly fast. Due to her speed, the space around her twisted, and just the shock waves were enough to blow away those roots. They weren't able to touch Cloud. Cloud, you're amazing praised Long Chen. He had thought that when he used his lightning wings plus his new lightning flash step, he had reached a kind of pinnacle in speed. However, now he found that he was a far cry from Cloud. Long Chen, do you want to charge straight through or first find a place to hide? If we charge straight through, we'll end up disturbing all the tree demons in the Black Channel. That will only benefit the people behind us, said Chu Yao. She was worried about them charging too far forward and being the focus of all the tree demons. That would increase the pressure on them. No need. Let's charge straight through with absolute power. Their schemes are pure nonsense. Chu Yao, are you sure there's something one or needs in the Jade Lake? Asked Long Chen. Yes, I'm sure. We've been guarding the Black Channel all this time. One reason is because we are wood cultivators. So we're the best people to counter the tree demons. But the other reason is that the Jade Lake Sacred Land doesn't have anything that the Skywood Divine Palace's disciples need. So there's no need to worry about us occupying it for ourselves or abusing our position. In truth, that Jade Lake Venerate was extremely terrifying. She was in possession of four kinds of energy. Earth, water, fire, and wind, said Chu Yao. Four types. Long Chen sucked in a cold gasp of air. Those who could control two kinds of energy were already few and far between. He had never heard of anyone capable of controlling three kinds. However, the Jade Lake Venerate could control four types. That's not all. It is said that the four elements, earth, water, fire, and air were the foundation of the birth of this world. When they are combined, their power is terrifying. However, her ability to control four kinds of elemental energy is definitely related to her magical arts. Or perhaps that level of magical art should be called divine art. Our cultivation civilization has declined, and there's no way anyone in the present era can control four kinds of energy. Just trying to control water and fire, two opposing elements, is enough to cause someone to explode. We called you over because we're worried about competing with Dishin and him taking the opportunity one or needs. But the other reason is that you should have an affinity with the fire element. It's a win-win, explained Chu Yao. There's an opportunity for me too? That is really good. Do you know what kind of flame is inside? Long Chen began to grow excited. 
If there was a powerful flame, Huo Long would be delighted. Chu Ya shook her head. It's unknown what flame it is. All we know is that there is a flame beast inside, and everyone who has entered its territory has been killed. In all these years, the fire region is the only place that no one has managed to gain an inheritance from. Many people have entered the earth, water, and air regions and gained their own special opportunities. But those who entered the fire region all died. Boom. As the four of them were conversing, the ground in front of them exploded, and a huge figure appeared before it. It was a giant tree demon blocking their path. It looked like a wooden giant with a saber in its hand. Its entire body emitted a bronze color. It's a bronze tree demon, explained Chu Yao. Bronze tree demons are true members of the tree demons fighters, not like the weak ones we just charged past. They have about the power of ordinary life star experts. Cloud opened its mouth as soon as the tree demon appeared, and a black light ray shot out. The tree demon's saber had just been raised when the black ray pierced its body, blowing it apart. What a powerful divine ability Long Chen was shocked at Cloud's power. Even he had sensed danger from her attack just now. Don't underestimate Cloud just because she's still a child. Her killing moves are all frightening, and even Hu Shaolin with a divine item wouldn't be a match for Cloud. She has already inherited a portion of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows divine abilities that have vanished from the rest of the world. When cloud advances to the 11th rank, she'll even be able to challenge nether passage experts. Men Chi smiled proudly. The myriad spirit diagram that Long Chen had given her was a priceless treasure. Amazing. This is definitely good. No wonder the Xuan beasts want the myriad spirit diagram so much. Long Chen nodded. Hu Shaolin had participated in the Dragon Slaughtering Convention specifically for the Myriad Spirit Diagram Noveloon.com Long Chen. We'll have to be careful in the future. After that battle, Hu Shaolin completely exposed the existence of the Myriad Spirit Diagram. The complete inheritance of the Xuan Beasts exists inside it, and much of that inheritance has already been lost in the outside world. They probably won't let us off, warned Meng Chi. No need to worry. Whether it's a blessing or a calamity, it can't be dodged. We'll just have to counter whatever they try. Speaking of which, Little Snow's crystal core is still being nourished inside the Myriad Spirit Diagram. Right? What's the situation? Asked Long Chen. Little Snow's soul is being nourished and is getting stronger with every passing moment. If you want to, Little Snow could probably manage to take over the body of a 10th rank Xuan beast. If you find a suitable race. You can try it. If we could awaken Little Snow, we could all rest easier. Then let's keep nourishing Little Snow's crystal core until Little Snow's soul grows to the limit. But, the Myriad Spirit Diagram is extremely powerful. Little Snow's soul in the crystal core has already gone through three mutations. I don't know how many months or years it would take to reach the peak. That's fine. It just means that this isn't a good time to do it. Even if I captured a talented Xuan beast. It wouldn't be perfect. There would definitely be flaws in the possession. And then Little Snow's cultivation base would fall behind again. I'm going to find a body that will allow Little Snow to walk to the peak of the martial path along with me. Said Long Chen firmly. Thinking about Little Snow made his heart ache. Long Chen knew that Little Snow had felt aggrieved at not being able to help him in the end. So he would either find a perfect, powerful body for Little Snow or he would wait until he found one so that Little Snow could accompany him forever. Cloud sped through the sky. More and more tree demons appeared ahead, and they were also growing stronger. However, they couldn't stop Cloud. After advancing to the 10th rank, Cloud had become a true expert. Based on Cloud's speed, we should reach the Jade Lake in an incense stick's worth of time. There will be true experts of the tree demons there, so everyone be careful, warned Chu Yao. Boom. Suddenly, a huge silver tree demon appeared in front of Cloud, and the two crashed together. The tree demon was smashed apart, but Cloud's momentum instantly dropped. As a result, Long Chen and the others almost flew off her back. It's a silver tree demon, and there are so many of them. Chu Yao was startled. There was a mass of silver tree demons ahead. In the past, each time the black channel began to act up, the Silver Tree Demons had been the leaders of the insurrection. They had been very rare, but now they were everywhere. Cloud, be careful. 
The silver tree demons are very powerful, called out Chu Yao. Hundreds of silver tree demons attacked with their silver blades. Those huge blades whistled as they slashed down at them. They were truly terrifying. Wind Moon Slash. Tang Wan'er summoned another sea of wind blades. But she was disappointed to see that her sharp wind blades shattered on contact with the silver tree demons. They were only able to leave some tiny, unremarkable marks on their bodies. They couldn't even count as wounds. Cloud spread her wings. Runes lit up. And she slashed her wings at the tree demons like sharp blades. However, she was only able to knock them back, not kill them. There were too many of them. Long Chen, I'll make you kneel and beg for forgiveness for humiliating me before having been held back by the silver tree demons. A voice rang out from behind, one fuming with rage. Chapter 1642 Treacherous and Cunning Translator Born to be its Tishin Men Chi called out with some surprise. It was unexpected that he would be able to catch up so quickly considering Cloud's speed. He came at the perfect time. It just so happens that I want to test him out. Long Chen smiled coldly. He wanted to see just how strong Di Xin was. How strong were the experts from the central Xuan region? Let's attack together, said Lu Ruian, wanting to fight immediately. No, now isn't the best time to attack. I just want to test him out so it'll be easier to launch the killing blow later. If we were all to fight, we would have to make sure that he definitely couldn't leave here alive. Just leave this to me. Cloud, put away your true body and get going. Don't go too far or expose your true power. Just get further away so you don't get splattered with blood, said Long Chen. Long Chen jumped off Cloud and floated in the air, his arms clasped behind his back. Calmly waiting for Di Xin and his group, Cloud put away her true body. With Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, and Lu Ruian, they sped away toward the Jade Lake. Long Chen, you pompous bastard. I, Wang Shan, will smash apart your undefeated legend today. Wang Shan was the one who flew to the front, his primal chaos manifestation appearing behind him. He let out a punch. Wang Shan viewed Lu Ruian's whip attack that had destroyed his arm as a huge disgrace. Thus, he blamed himself for being too careless and not using his full power, resulting in him being embarrassed. This time, he wasn't holding back at all. The world crumbled around him as he shot through space at Long Chen. As I said, it's not that I want to look down on you, but I really look down on you. Long Chen snorted and stamped on the ground. He shot over at Wang Shan. Boom. Wang Shan's expression changed. He found that he was unable to block Long Chen's punch. The earth and runes around Wang Shan's arm exploded, and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. His earth and armor shattered. The experts following Di Xin were shocked. Even when Wang Shan used his full power, he was injured by a punch from Long Chen. Even Di Xin's expression changed. Perhaps others might not have seen it, but his vision was sharp. Wang Shan hadn't lost in power but technique. Long Chen's punch had contained two kinds of energy. The first had been the thunder force that had invaded Wang Shan's arm, paralyzing it and making it so Wang Shan was unable to release his full power. His power had dropped to just 80%, which was what allowed Long Chen to crush him so easily. However, even if Wang Shan had known about it, he wouldn't have been able to defend against it thanks to Long Chen's meticulous skill. When it came to battle experience, Long Chen completely outclassed Wang Shan, not wanting to expose his trump cards. Long Chen relied on technique to defeat Wang Shan instead, not giving Wang Shan any breathing room. After punching with his right hand, Long Chen slapped Wang Shan with his left hand. Someone like you is only fit to be someone's dog. Scram and call over your master, sneered Long Chen. This was Wang Shan's second time being slapped in the face. The first time was due to carelessness. But this time he didn't even manage to see Long Chen's action. Long Chen's divine face slapping art was practically transcendent. Long Chen, I'll kill you. Wang Shan roared furiously. His eyes were completely red as he charged at him once more. Long Chen, you're too arrogant. Do you think my southern Xuan region has no one that can handle you? Over ten experts of the southern Xuan region followed Wang Shan this time. As Wang Shan pounced on Long Chen. The ground behind Long Chen exploded, and a huge earthen hand snaked out at him. That hand was larger than a mountain and covered in yellow runes. 
Your diversionary tactics are garbage. Considering your level of control, are you treating me like an idiot? This is your attempt at drawing my attention and launching a sneak attack. Long Chen didn't even look back at the earthen hand. Evil Moon appeared in his hand, and he swung it behind him. The huge hand blew apart without any suspense. Long Chen then stabbed Evil Moon forward. An Empyrean who had just reached him was stabbed through and raised into the air just like that. The other Empyreans had all attacked at the same time, but this person in particular was very fast and had ended up isolating himself. He was unable to break fast enough before he ran himself onto Long Chen's saber. It was like he had been sending himself over. Why are you in such a rush? Well, fine. I'll send you on ahead of the others. There's no need to thank me. Long Chen looked at the shocked Empyrean. Evil Moon shook ever so slightly as an earth-shattering power poured through it. No. Long Chen ignored his cry and directly blew the Empyrean apart. However, he was startled to find that this Empyrean's Yuan spirit was exceptionally powerful. It survived and fled. Long Chen, you destroyed my physical body. This enmity will not end until one of us Paris that Empyrean roared furiously. However, he had misjudged one thing. While his Yuan spirit had fled, it hadn't fled far at all. Long Chen conveniently raised a finger and pointed. A violet bolt of lightning struck the Yuan spirit, turning it to dust. An Empyrean died just like that. At this time, the other experts had also reached this point. But after personally seeing Long Chen kill an Empyrean, they turned pale. Long Chen, you dare to kill the heavenly geniuses of our southern Xuan region. Don't even think of leaving this place alive, roared another Empyrean. They were both shocked and infuriated. Are you all idiots? You want to kill me, so why can't I kill you? Sneered Long Chen. Nonsense. We were fighting with an attitude of exchanging pointers. We have no intention to take your life. Do you think the southern Xuan region's experts are the same as a murderous demon king like you? Shouted another Empyrean. Long Chen. You're looking down on the southern Xuan region. Killing our heavenly geniuses is provoking the entire southern Xuan region. I'll immediately report this to my father and have you captured and torn apart. Shouted Han Fifi. She finally had a reason to use her connections to kill Long Chen and vent her rage. Although Di Xin hadn't blamed her for the matter of the male milk, she could clearly feel him being much colder to her. Her resentment for that was given to Long Chen. If Long Chen didn't have such a big mouth, perhaps such a thing wouldn't have happened. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. He disdainfully said, If you want to kill me, then just come. Don't play such childish games. I only have this one little life, but I'm not afraid of anyone. Long Chen had finally come to the conclusion that the so-called experts of the southern Xuan region were nothing more than a group of slightly stronger pigs. They didn't have the slightest brains as they had been raised by their sects to simply look amazing. Their sects wanted to have an Empyrean, so they hadn't experienced any true slaughter. Di Xin, stop using others as cannon fodder to test me. If you really want to know how strong I am, you'll have to do it personally. Long Chen pointed his saber at Di Xin. Of all these experts here, the only ones he felt a bit of apprehension toward were Di Xin and Shen Bijin. He had already exchanged blows with Shen Bijin, but he still knew nothing about Di Xin. Long Chen, why bother? Why do you have to force people like this? Is killing people the only way for you to show your grandness? Young Master Di Xin, I really misjudged him. Don't be a brute like him. Those who could stand at the peak of the martial path were respected by everyone, not just because of their power, but because of their character and intelligence. The sovereigns didn't rely on slaughtering everyone to reach their height. Shen Bijin spoke up all of a sudden. Now when she looked at Long Chen, there was icy killing intent in her eyes. It seemed she didn't want to keep acting. Fine. Long Chen, I'll let you off this time. But even if I don't kill you, the southern Xuan region won't let you off. You will definitely die. Di Shen actually listened to Shen Bijin's advice. His climbing aura dissipated. Long Chen. You want to test Di Xin's power? Keep dreaming. As for everything about you, I've already told it all to Di Xin. I'll repay the humiliation you gave me a hundred times. Now do you regret it? Shen Bijin sent Long Chen a spiritual message. Now, Long Chen understood what Shen Bijin was doing. She was doing the same thing as him. 
waiting for an opportunity to kill the opponent in one blow. Hence, she intentionally ruined his goal of testing Dishin. She had seen through his intentions and wouldn't let things go as he wished. As for what she was saying, it was to disturb his mental state Novaloon.com Long Chen didn't get angry. Instead, he smiled. He wouldn't get angry over someone who would die soon. Since this was the case, there was no longer any need for him to stay behind. He began rushing over in the direction Meng Chi and the others had gone. Once he was gone, Di Xin sent a message to Shen Bijin. You better not be tricking me. If I find that you are helping Long Chen, I will kill you. Don't worry, we're on the same side now. I just want Long Chen, alive or dead. As for his women, they'll be yours. Shen Bijin smiled. That smile was a bit malicious and chilly. Fine, then I'll follow your plan for now. Di Xin nodded and led his people in a different direction. Everyone was moving closer to the Jade Lake Sacred Land. Chapter 1643 Charging into the Jade Lake Translator Born to be Long Chen flew forward. Any tree demons that blocked his way were slashed apart by Evil Moon. He quickly caught up to Meng Chi and the others. Why didn't Di Xin fight? Asked Tang Wan'er. Long Chen told them what Shen Bijin had messaged him, resulting in them all raging. That Shen Bijin is too sinister. She schemes deeply and is completely unscrupulous. We should be careful. The current situation isn't favorable to us. We have exposed many of our trump cards during the Grand Han. Hence, Shen Bijin has definitely prepared before coming and will tell those trump cards to Di Xin. Meanwhile, I still know nothing about him. That's very dangerous, said Long Chen gloomily. I'm not afraid. You'll handle Di Xin, and we'll handle that woman. We still have the absolute advantage, said Tang Wan'er confidently. There was Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Cloud, and Lu Ruian. One against five. They should have no problem. Foolish girl. You've been tricked by Shen Bijin. Just because she is such a schemer doesn't mean she isn't powerful. If you think she only schemes because she isn't strong enough, you'll have fallen for another one of her schemes. Last time, Zi Yan didn't kill me. And this time, the elusive music Immortal Palace sent Shen Bijin. From her seven-string C suppressing zither, it can be seen that she was following the will of the higher-ups of the elusive music Immortal Palace. In other words, she has to be stronger than Zi Yan, or they must think she would be better than Zi Yan at killing me. Even if the five of you joined hands, it's unknown whether you could defeat her. She has the seven-string C suppressing zither and has yet to expose her trump cards. We know nothing about her, but we are in the palm of her hand. So don't be careless. Everything she has shown us so far is to numb us to her true power. If we are even slightly careless, we'll fall for one of her schemes, said Long Chen gravely. This was his first time running into such a difficult woman. Or perhaps he should say it was his first encounter with such a shameless woman. Men Chi and the others' hearts shook. Chu Yao nodded. That Shen Bijin is Zi Yan's senior apprentice sister. My master told me that her talent is even greater than Zi Yan's, but because the elusive music Immortal Palace's master doesn't like her character, she isn't suited to be the successor of the palace master position. However, her combat power can only be greater than Zi Yan's. In any case, we just need to be careful, but we don't need to be afraid. Once we find a suitable opportunity, We'll get rid of them all at once. I'll open a path for us forward. We should charge in before them and get one or her inheritance before they can bother us. Long Chen walked to the ground. In the face of the endless silver tree demons, he actually put away Evil Moon. A black sphere appeared in his hand and shot out like a shooting star. The air resistance caused specks of black dirt to fly out of it. When that black dirt landed on the silver tree demons, they immediately began to corrode. They let out strange whales and fled. This was the primal chaos space's black soil. To tree life forms, it was an absolute poison. Up to now, other than the undying willow being able to block it temporarily, no other tree life forms had been able to resist it. Those silver tree demons immediately opened a path that Long Chen and the others rushed down. He hadn't used too much of the black soil, only enough to make the tree demons afraid. He definitely didn't want others to take advantage of his work. That was why he didn't unleash a huge wave and instead shot it out bit by bit. 
Just as Long Chen was forcibly tearing a path through the tree demons, a thousand miles away, a white light soared into the sky, a white dragon roared and sped forward, any tree demons in its way were turned to ash, it's the pill fairy, her flame is actually white, it's so beautiful exclaimed Meng Chi, the pill fairy was rushing at full speed as well, she was standing on a dragon formed of her white flames, in front of her, those tree demons were like rotting wood, sometimes, the dragon would breathe out fire and exterminate everything in front of it, she's even stronger than before Long Chen's heart shook, the current pill fairy was far stronger than she had been back in pill valley, furthermore, her flame had completely transformed, it possessed a sacred air to it, many experts were following behind her, trying to take advantage of the path she made to conserve energy, Long Chen was rushing forward with black soil, while the pill fairy was rushing forward with her white dragon, the two of them were neck and neck, with their speed equally matched, as for Di's inside, they had to rely on brute force to kill the tree demons, although they were very powerful, their speed couldn't compare to these two groups, he's still holding back, this Di Shen really knows how to endure Long Chen looked back at Di Shen in the distance, clearly, Di Shen was thinking just like him, he wouldn't easily attack, but when he did, it would be to kill, we're close to the Jade Lake sacred lake, called out Tang Wan Er excitedly, there was a distant serene lake vaguely in sight, this was the Jade Lake, its surface was like a mirror, faint immortal chi could be seen swirling around it, just as they were getting closer, the ground exploded, and golden arrows shot out from underground at them, Evil Moon appeared in Long Chen's hand, and he slashed apart the golden arrows, however, those golden arrows were so powerful that his arm became a bit numb. Large, sharp tentacles now shot out of the ground at Long Chen, like golden war spears. It's golden tree demons. They're extremely powerful, so be careful. Chu Yao's expression changed slightly. This time, the tree demons that had appeared in the Black Channel were not just unprecedented in numbers, but also unprecedented in power, due to the wall between worlds. There were normally very few golden tree demons capable of entering the Black Channel. However, there were so many of them this time. Split the heavens five. A huge saber image soared into the sky and slashed down. The ground split apart. Those golden tentacles exploded and a huge ditch appeared. However, Long Chen was shocked to find that the golden tree demons' true bodies that had been hidden underground hadn't been killed. Instead, they had fled so quickly that they had avoided being killed. Let's go. Since the tree demons had been forced back, Long Chen rushed forward. Meng Chi and the others quickly followed. The six of them crossed a certain distance before the golden tree demons attacked again. This time, they weren't using tentacles. Their true bodies came out of the ground. They looked like they were made of gold. They didn't have large tree tops, but they had countless roots. Their trunks were like giant mountains. Damn. These golden tree demons can instantly kill life star experts, exclaimed Long Chen. Just how had the Skywood Divine Palace managed to defend this channel for so many years against so many golden tree demons? No one knows what happened, but some problem has occurred in the Black Channel. Before, when we tidied up the Black Channel, there would only be two to three golden tree demons at most. There have never been this many, explained Chu Yao upon seeing Long Chen's shock. How were there two to three? Thirty thousand probably wasn't even enough to count them. They had completely surrounded the Jade Lake. These golden tree demons are absorbing the Jade Lake's immortal spiritual chi. However, they can't absorb it directly and can only assimilate the energy from the earth. All we have to do is charge our way through their blockade and reach the Jade Lake. They are very afraid of the Jade Lake's water. So if we get past them, they won't be able to do anything to us said Chu Yao. These golden tree demons have a certain resistance to my black soil. Let's try something else. Long Chen found that the black soil he had summoned wasn't that effective against the golden tree demons. At the very least, they weren't terrified of it. He didn't want to bring out too much of it and let it be seen by Di Shen and Shen Bijin. Raging flames devour the heavens. Flames enveloped his body and formed a huge sea. These golden flames instantly set the golden tree demons on fire. However, the golden tree demons were extremely tough and were not immediately burned to death. They dug their way underground again in an attempt to extinguish the flames. 
However, their thinking was too simple. The heaven incinerating flame was not so easy to deal with. Only extremely powerful heavenly Tao energy could extinguish it. These golden tree demons might be powerful, but they had no heavenly Tao energy. Most importantly, they were weak to fire. Let's go. Long Chen slashed his saber, destroying the tentacles of the tree demons. In the domain of his golden flames, their defensive power sharply dropped, allowing him to cut through them like tofu. Long Chen charged his way through, quickly reaching the edge of the Jade Lake. The six of them jumped in together, the flames vanished, and the golden tree demons charged to the edge of the lake. However, they didn't dare to take half a step further. They didn't dare to attack them now that they were in the Jade Lake. Long Chen put away his heaven incinerating flame, and the flames on the tree demons vanished. Although they had been burned black, their combat power hadn't dropped much. Just a few seconds after they entered the Jade Lake, the Pill Fairy also arrived, diving into the lake. With their two groups inside the Jade Lake, the Golden Tree Demons formed an impenetrable wall against Di Xin's group. Young Master Di Xin, now you don't need to hold back. Let everyone see your power. Shen Bijin smiled at Di Xin. Chapter 1644 Mysterious Sphere Translator Born to be Di Xin's expression was a bit gloomy. Originally, he had wanted to use his real power to annihilate these tree demons, but Shen Bijin had made him wait. Now Long Chen and the Pill Fairy had gone off, throwing them far into the distance. The way these people were looking at him now was a bit doubtful. Some people even felt that his fame was fake, and that his power was lacking compared to Long Chen and the Pill Fairy. That infuriated him. Now that Long Chen and the Pill Fairy had entered the Jade Lake, there was no longer any need for him to worry about exposing his trump cards. With a cold snort, he made a hand seal. The water inside the Jade Lake exploded, and water droplets rained down in every direction. When the Jade Lake's water landed on the tree demons, they let out startled cries. Smoke started coming out of their bodies like they were being corroded. They rapidly withered. The golden tree demons dug their way into the ground and didn't dare to come back up. Now the land was empty of tree demons. Young Master Di Xin is mighty, praised Shen Bijin. These tree demons were dark creatures, while the Jade Lake possessed a sacred aura that was their bane. They could only retreat in front of it. The golden tree demons had to run, but the silver tree demons instantly vanished into smoke when touched by the water. Di Xin had forced back tens of thousands of golden tree demons with the wave of a hand and tidied up the majority of the battlefield causing the other disciples' jaws to drop. They weren't clear on the secrets of the Jade Lake and thought that this was purely Di Xin's power. Don't be angry. Not letting you expose yourself is for your goal as well. Long Chen's craftiness is beyond your imagination. Each bit of power that you expose will be one more chip Long Chen uses to run away. Why bother fighting for a momentary glory? Once he's dead, his women will be yours. Messaged Shen Bijin. Fine. I'll listen to you. However, I'm still not at ease. I want to personally kill Long Chen, so I can only give you his corpse, said Di Xin cautiously. Ever since becoming Long Chen's enemy, he was standing on the same battlefront as Shen Bijin. However, he felt that she was too much of a schemer, and working together with her made him a bit uneasy. Furthermore, he was worried that if he left Long Chen to Shen Bijin, she might not be willing to kill him and instead join him. If the two of them joined hands against him, it would be troublesome. No problem. As long as Long Chen is in my hands, it's the same whether he's dead or alive, said Shen Bijin indifferently. Di Xin nodded, a bit more at ease. All right, then let's continue with the plan. Di Xin and Shen Bijin were communicating spiritually, and the others were unable to tell. Only Han Fifei was extremely displeased to see Di Xin looking at Shen Bijin, due to the matter of the male milk. She didn't even dare to speak to him. She did her best to endure as Shen Bijin was a main disciple of the elusive music immortal palace. It was fated that she couldn't marry anyone. Thus, Han Fifei could accept a bit of flirting between them. Furthermore, in this world where the strong were revered, which expert didn't have a mass of wives and concubines around them? Han Fifei might be irritated, but she endured it. Di Xin took the lead in entering the Jade Lake. The other Empyreans followed suit. As for the disciples who entered after them, due to Di Xin, there was practically nothing blocking them. 
They easily entered the Jade Lake and were extremely grateful to him. After all, whether it was Long Chen or the Pill Fairy, they had only looked after themselves. Only Di Shen had helped them, and this raised his position in their hearts. Long Chen and the others followed Chu Yao's directions after entering the Jade Lake. They continued swimming down toward a ball of light at the bottom of the Jade Lake. That ball of light was like a full moon. This is the entrance, said Chu Yao. Although this was Chu Yao's first time entering as well, she knew a great deal about the Jade Lake sacred land. As they descended, they saw that it truly was an entrance. It was huge. It was just that they were so far away that it looked like a moon. When they reached it, Long Chen felt his body lighten. The water around them vanished, and they slowly descended. There was an endless mass of giant palaces here. It was so huge that Long Chen thought that he had returned to the netherworld. This is the Jade Lake Sacred Palace. Rumor is that the earth, fire, water, and air elemental inheritances are all located within one of these palaces. We can only test out luck looking for them, said Chu Yao. But there are tens of thousands of these palaces, and we're like ants in comparison. How are we supposed to look? The Skywood Divine Palace oversees the Jade Lake pageant. Do you really not know where the Wind Element Inheritance is? Asked Tang Wanur. Chu Ya shook her head. To tell the truth, we don't actually know more about the Jade Lake Sacred Palace than others. Some sects might even know more. The Earth, Water, Fire, and Wind Inheritances have no affinity with the Skywood Divine Palace, which is why the Southern Xuan region's experts are comfortable with us overseeing this place. Furthermore, this is the inheritance land left by the Jade Lake Venerate. To obtain her inheritance naturally requires affinity and destiny. Rumor is that the position of the palaces changes every time this place is opened. You might have obtained an amazing treasure entering one palace the first time, only to find a death trap the second time. One or, if you can obtain the Jade Lake Venerate's Wind Element Inheritance, you'll definitely become the strongest amongst us sisters. Ugh, relying on destiny and luck is the most irritating thing. This kind of thing has no affinity with me. Wan or, just go crazy here and see if you can find it, said Long Chen helplessly. Dislikable. How are you still in a mood to joke? Rebuked Tang Wan or, Wan or, release your wind energy and focus your senses. If you really have an affinity with it, it'll definitely form a resonance. But if you aren't destined for it, all we'll be able to do is test our luck said Meng Chi. You really are the more reliable one. Tang Wan'er nodded and unleashed her heavenly Tao energy. Just as she did so, she let out a startled cry. I can feel something summoning me. It's coming from over there, exclaimed Tang Wan'er excitedly. She pointed in a direction and rushed off. What the fuck? Long Chen's eyes almost popped out. Was having destiny with something really so simple? This was too fake, wasn't it? He had never encountered such a simple thing in his whole life. His opportunities were all paid in blood. Either he had to take it from others or risk his life getting it. Something as easy as closing his eyes and sensing it completely baffled him. Everyone followed Tang wan -er. They carefully went through palace after palace. Eventually, they saw an unremarkable temple. The temple was worn down with age. The gates were broken to the point that they didn't even need to open them. There was a large enough crack for them to squeeze their way in. Once they were in the temple, they saw an altar inside the palace. There was a sphere lying on the altar that was several feet wide. It was a bizarre sight. When they carefully entered, the dim sphere began to slowly light up, illuminating the palace. Long Chen was originally at the front and suddenly sensed danger. He retreated, but he was one step too late. An invisible blade cut a large wound in his chest. Meng Chi and the others jumped in shock. They hastily looked around, spreading their spiritual strength to see who had sneak attacked them. It's not a sneak attack. It's the domain of that sphere, said Long Chen. He touched his chest with some lingering fear. That sphere was too terrifying. Just now, an invisible blade had cut him silently. If he hadn't reacted fast enough, he might have been split in two. That blade was so sharp that even his powerful body was unable to resist it. Long Chen took out an ancestral item spear and slowly moved it forward. His hand suddenly quivered as the spear was cut into 15 pieces. It was like a blade had cut through sugar cane. The cut was as clean as glass. 
How terrifying Cloud looked ahead in fear. The most frightening attacks were those that couldn't be sensed. You would be struck before even realizing it. Wanner, are you sure it's calling you? I can't sense any wind energy, asked Meng Chi. She didn't sense any wind energy from the sphere. Yes, this is it. It's the thing summoning me. Long Chen, let me try it. Tang Wanner walked forward with a determined expression. All right, just go slow. If you can't, don't force it. I'll protect you. Long Chen took out Evil Moon, prepared to save her if anything went wrong. Tang Wanner nodded and slowly got closer. She was very careful. The others held their breaths in apprehension. Long Chen watched with his full attention. He was tightly gripping Evil Moon. Tang Wanner finally stepped into the spot where Long Chen had just been caught. Long Chen's nerves tightened. However, it did nothing to Tang Wanner. Despite that, Long Chen didn't dare to relax. However, Tang Wanner didn't run into anything unexpected as she continued forward. Wanner, are you alright? Meng Chi suddenly cried out as she sensed something wrong. Tang Wanner's eyes had lost their focus as if she had lost her soul. She was walking to the sphere mindlessly and pressed a hand against it. Tang Wanner suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood, and it landed on the sphere. Wanner, Long Chen cried out in shock and charged forward. Chapter 1645 Catching One Translator Born to be just as Long Chen rushed over to Tang Wanner, he noticed that the invisible blades in this space didn't react to his presence. Long Chen, wait, shouted Meng Chi suddenly. Long Chen immediately stopped. Wan Er should be in the midst of an inheritance. Her soul is in a different world right now, so she can't hear us. However, her wind soul mark has appeared on her forehead. Long Chen saw a mark on Tang Wan Er's forehead, which represented her wind energy. Her soul was in a calm state. There wasn't anything strange about her right now. When she had coughed up blood, everyone's nerves had tightened, resulting in Long Chen charging out. However, now he saw that her fresh blood was entering the sphere, almost like a seed germinating within it. Seeing this, Long Chen relaxed. It had really been frightening just now. Long Chen, we'll guard this place. You can find an opportunity somewhere else, proposed Meng Chi. Me? I'm not good at finding opportunities, but I'm decent at snatching them. Long Chen shook his head. He would never have this kind of good luck. Of that he was sure. You can't put it that way. Although the Jade Lake Venerate's main inheritance was the four kinds of elemental energy, there are others as well. Furthermore, you're a flame cultivator, so you should have an affinity with the fire inheritance. With the four of us guarding one or, no one can get close. So don't worry, said Meng Chi. Long Chen hesitated. I'm just worried about Di Shen and Shen Bijin. Shen Bijin is especially sinister and difficult to deal with. I don't want you falling for one of her schemes. Even if Shen Bijin comes, we have four people here. She won't have an advantage, said Meng Chi confidently. Just go. I'm here. And even if Shen Bijin comes, she won't be able to harm any one of us. I'll be the one killing her. Her zither music is ineffective against me, said Lu Ruian indifferently. Lu Ruian wasn't a human. She was an undying willow, and her senses were different from humans. Shen Bijin's music was truly unable to do anything to her. All right, then I'll go for a stroll. Be careful, Long Chen nodded. Lu Ruian's promise was very relieving. In truth, the one he was most worried about was Shen Bijin. She was too sinister. The most frightening thing wasn't someone suicidal, but someone absolutely shameless. Those people were the most difficult to deal with. However, Lu Ruian's power was the greatest amongst them and with her undying body, she should be able to fight even one-on-one -on -one against Shen Bijin. He exited the palace and looked around at the surrounding giant palaces. He felt himself to be an ant crawling around in an imperial palace. He left a spiritual mark on this palace so that he could return as fast as possible if he needed to. He then went in a random direction. He knew that with his bad luck, rather than running into a lucky opportunity, he'd more likely run into a death trap. He was most interested in seeing if he could catch Tishin and his group. Those fellows were all Empyreans with great luck. Stalking them might get him some benefits. The fact that Tang Wanner had instantly found her inheritance made him sigh about how people really had different fates. 
He was someone whose opportunities had to be won through risking his life against other experts, and if he did manage to win it, it would become like a slippery loach in muddy water. Then if he did catch it still, it would become a viper and bite him. That was why he didn't dare to live off luck. He had to live off power and intelligence to snatch those opportunities out of adversity. Long Chen was rushing forward when one of the gates he had just passed blew open. A figure flew out, his blood splattering. This was a disciple from the southern Xuan region, a rank 8 celestial. As his body tumbled back, it actually split in two. He had been severed by some blade. He was already dead, and his Yuan spirit didn't even manage to escape. His expression was one of terror as if he had run into something unbelievably terrifying right before his death. Long Chen had looked through several palaces only to find nothing. Most likely, others had long since plundered them. Even if there had been treasures in them, they had long since been taken. There should be something here. Long Chen was still in the midst of observing the corpse when another figure flew out of the palace. When Long Chen saw who it was, he was startled. Wang Shan. Long Chen immediately understood that this was a case of killing to snatch treasures. He checked the corpse again and saw that it was holding something in its hand. It was a small jade tablet, and an ancient, desolate aura came from it. It most likely was no ordinary object. Without another word, Long Chen took the jade tablet. Wang Shan, who had just charged out, jumped in surprise when he saw Long Chen. When he saw Long Chen take the jade tablet, his expression changed. He had killed this person specifically for the jade tablet. Although he didn't know what it was, this was the Jade Lake Sacred Land, and anything left here had to be a priceless treasure. Long Chen, how dare you kill one of the Southern Xuan region's disciples to take their treasures? You're worse than an animal Wang Shan immediately shouted loudly, spreading his slander as far as possible. This move of yours is useless against me. I've been falsely accused of so many things that this little bit doesn't do anything, if you like. You can continue with more lies. In the future, you won't have another chance. Long Chen smiled coldly and shot forward like a bolt of lightning at Wang Shan. Long Chen attacked without storing up any energy. Relying on just his physical body, he punched Wang Shan. Boom. Wang Shan's arms were both broken with a single punch. He smashed into one of the stone pillars at the entrance of the palace. In terms of physical strength. He wasn't even close to the same level as Long Chen. The entire palace rocked, and Wang Shan coughed up a mouthful of blood. He roared and summoned his heavenly Tao manifestation, but it had yet to fully appear when Long Chen slapped him across the face. Just like before, he relied only on his physical strength, not giving Wang Shan any chance to store up energy. His manifestation was interrupted. Wang Shan flipped through the air. Long Chen's left arm snaked up and caught Wang Shan's hair, forcibly stopping his momentum. At the same time, his knee came for Wang Shan's nose. Bang! Wang Shan's head almost exploded, and blood poured out from his seven orifices. If his earth energy hadn't automatically activated, he'd have died. Wang Shan's body crashed into the stone pillar once more. He was stuck to it like a pancake. Wang Shan was appalled as Long Chen's speed was too great. He was unable to bring out any of his power against Long Chen. He couldn't even summon his manifestation. His head was muddled. However, he did his best to focus and also circulated his dantian. He had to summon his manifestation, or in a clash of just physical strength, he couldn't possibly win. However, just as his dantian was circulating, he felt a burst of pain. A finger was pointed at his forehead. He saw Long Chen's ice-cold eyes looking at him like he was a god of death. I said that I could take your life in 10 exchanges. It seems I overestimated you, sneered Long Chen. He had overestimated the southern Xuan region's so-called heavenly geniuses. So they were nothing more than a pack of idiots. Even summoning their heavenly Tao energy took them so much time, and yet they dared to get so close to their enemies. He had captured him without requiring any effort. Wang Shan hadn't even had a chance to unleash any of his power before being defeated just like this. It could only be said that Wang Shan's battle experience only came from martial competitions of exchanging pointers. He hadn't fought any life and death battles. Such a person, no matter how strong they became, would never be more than a slightly stronger pig. 
When they ran into a butcher, they would instantly be slain. Perhaps the southern Xuan region was just too peaceful, which resulted in such an idiot being born. Compared to Hu Shaolin, Jin Mingwei, and the others whom Long Chen had fought in the Grand Han, Wang Shan's actual power was around the same level, but his real fighting experience wasn't worth a fart. Long Chen, don't kill me. I know many secrets that I can tell you. I know that Shen Bijin and Di Shen have joined hands. They Long Chen coldly looked at Wang Shan. Lightning suddenly circulated around his finger. Wang Shan's body stiffened. A sharp dagger clattered to the ground. That dagger sparkled with seven differently colored runes. Those seven different runes contained terrifying power. It was an incredible one-time killing tool. Once stabbed into a person's body, those runes would explode, killing whoever was stabbed. What an idiot. To use such a flashy dagger to assassinate me. Did you think I was blind or stupid? Long Chen's lips curled into a disdainful sneer. This Wang Shan was really stupid. To use such a bright object as a sneak attack, it was probably something only a pampered young master would think of. A normal person wouldn't be so stupid. Heavens, Long Chen had just slain Wang Shan when several other experts of the southern Xuan region appeared, looking at Long Chen with shock. When Long Chen turned to look at them, they immediately fled in terror. Long Chen ignored them. He grabbed Wang Shan's spatial ring and saw a small mountain of spirit crystals in it. There should be hundreds of thousands of them. There were also quite a few weapons and other treasures that he didn't look through closely. He tossed the ring and the jade tablet into the primal chaos space. He'd look through them later. Just like that. Long Chen patted his butt and continued. Although his luck wasn't good. Who said a blind cat couldn't find a mouse? After over two hours of searching, he didn't run into any opportunities as this place was too big. He also didn't make any gains. There were even several times he encountered hidden mechanisms that injured him. Just as Long Chen was flying around like a headless housefly, he heard a loud roar, and a surge of flames appeared in the distance. He immediately looked over. Damn, I finally know what kind of flame it is, exclaimed Long Chen. Delighted. Chapter 1646 Black Illusion Dragon Flame Translator Born to be flame surged in the distance for just a moment before vanishing. However, Long Chen still managed to see it. It's the Black Illusion Dragon Flame ranked second on the Earth Flame rankings. It has to be it. Long Chen looked in the direction it had come from with shock. Long Chen was no longer a rookie when it came to the Earth Flame rankings. He instantly recognized the flame. There was only one black flame on the Earth Flame rankings. It was the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, which made it very easy to recognize. What he knew of this flame was that it was very berserk and was known as the most violent flame. It was something no one could control, so it was known as the only flame that could not be used for alchemy. Although the heaven incinerating flame was known to burn anything, it could be controlled and used to refine pills. It was just that controlling it for alchemy required a huge amount of spiritual strength, which made it not viewed highly by alchemists. It was more of a flame that flame cultivators longed for. In truth, the heaven incinerating flame was not very suitable for refining pills. It was just that Long Chen's powerful spiritual strength made it not a problem. Unfortunately, amongst alchemists, probably the only one with such monstrous spiritual strength was Long Chen. As for the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, spiritual strength had no meaning when it came to it. If you used this flame to refine pills, there was no way around the pill exploding in the end. Even furnace explosions would be expected. The Black Illusion Dragon Flame was too tyrannical and refused to lower its head to anyone. There had yet to be anyone who could control it. Nevertheless, Long Chen started rushing off in that direction. Something's wrong. There's an illusion. Long Chen suddenly found that he had returned to his original location after just a moment. He immediately activated his sixth sense and saw the space around him twisting. Many channels were interweaving like a maze. There's only one path. Long Chen used his sixth sense to observe this spatial illusion formation. He quickly found a path, but this path snaked back and forth just like a maze. He spent a long time going through it before managing to get past this illusion formation. Once he was out, he saw a pitch black palace whose gates were half open. He carefully walked in. As soon as Long Chen was in, 
Black Chi enveloped him. This Black Chi was coming from the ground. A berserk aura hung in the air, and breathing it in felt like breathing gunpowder. His nose felt like it might explode. Long Chen was shocked. This kind of aura was something that an ordinary person would probably immediately die to. What terrifying existence was hidden within this palace? He carefully continued forward. As he was walking, he suddenly slid to the side. A black gas bubble appeared on the ground and popped. Long Chen was blown back by the explosion despite instinctively dodging. Black flames spurted out in every direction, forming a huge mushroom cloud that soared into the sky and then vanished. How terrifying although Long Chen wasn't injured, he was shaken. This black bubble had caused such a huge explosion. Those black flames possessed a destructive nature, and even though he had instinctively summoned a flame barrier, these black flames even managed to destroy the heaven incinerating flame that claimed to be able to burn anything. This is definitely the black illusion dragon flame, or there's no way it could be powerful enough to suppress my heaven incinerating flame. Long Chen felt a burning sensation in his heart. If he could obtain the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, Huo Long's power would explosively grow once more. He carefully crept forward. Black mist appeared, growing denser and denser, turning the world dark. Toward the end, the mist was like a flame, and even Long Chen's physical body couldn't bear it. He had to summon flame armor to protect himself. Long Chen, is that you? Just as he was walking through the bubbles, a familiar voice rang out. Pill Fairy. Long Chen immediately recognized the voice. It's me. Long Chen followed the voice. He quickly saw a woman wrapped in white flames in the endless darkness. It was the Pill Fairy, Yu Kingsuan. You've also come for the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, asked the Pill Fairy. Long Chen nodded. The Pill Fairy's goal in attending the Jade Lake pageant was now clear. She had come for the Black Illusion Dragon Flame. She must have come prepared. However, this black illusion dragon flame was too strong. Long Chen also wanted it, and while he wanted to say the pill fairy could of it, he couldn't say something so fake. You'll probably be disappointed, sighed the pill fairy. I don't need the complete black illusion dragon flame. I just need a portion of its energy, said Long Chen. He just needed a bit of its power to transform Huo Long. The pill fairy shook her head. You've misunderstood. What I mean is that this black illusion flame dragon has fully matured. It's not something we can touch. What do you mean? Long Chen was startled. This Jade Lake sacred land has four inheritances. Earth, water, fire, and wind. They are all gifts that the Jade Lake venerate left to future generations. When it comes to the earth, water, and wind inheritances, it was some special techniques or such. However, the fire inheritance is different. She left behind this earth flame spirit beast. She sealed it below the palace, but because no one took it after so long, it slowly grew to the point that it is now too terrifying to take. Just now, I used my core flame to investigate what's below, and it seems like I came for nothing, sighed the pill fairy. She helplessly said, 800 years ago, one of my pill valley's experts participated in the Jade Lake pageant and entered this place, but at that time, the palace was still fine, and there was no black chi. The black illusion dragon flame was just 3,000 meters long. However, when I checked just now, I saw that its body had grown to 10 times that. It probably managed to break one of the restrictions binding it and advanced in power. Here, let me share what I saw and you'll understand. The pill fairy gently pressed her hand against Long Chen's forehead. Her hand was very warm. As for that white flame, Long Chen couldn't sense any heat from it. His heartbeat quickened. This was his first time being in such an intimate situation with the pill fairy. Before he could carefully experience this feeling, the image of a huge black dragon appeared in his mind, making him jump. It was a 30,000 meter black dragon covered in pitch black sparkling scales. Black Chi surged out of it constantly, and it was coiled around a huge pillar. He sensed endless berserk energy from it. Its eyes were closed as if it was in slumber, but looking at it still made Long Chen's hair rise. If it woke, it would be like a volcano bursting. Based on my guess, the Jade Lake Venerate left the Black Illusion Dragon Flame as a gift. However, no one ever managed to subdue it, which made it grow stronger and stronger. At this rate, 
it won't be long before it completely breaks through its seal. The Black Illusion Dragon Flame is claimed to be the most tyrannical flame in this world. It's number two on the Earth Flame rankings. It's very difficult to subdue it while it has yet to give birth to a mind. But now that it's already matured to this point, its power will probably be something even Nether Passage experts have to fear if they don't have a divine item, said the Pill Fairy. Did you not bring a divine item with you? Did you try it? Asked Long Chen. The Pill Fairy shook her head. I brought the Danite Furnace. Based on the previous estimate of the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, I would have had a 30% chance of capturing it. However, now that it has already advanced, there's no chance. If things went badly, I could even lose my life. What if we work together? Long Chen refused to give up just like that. The more terrifying it was, the more he wanted it. His see a treasure and can't walk away disease was acting up again. It's very dangerous. Even with a divine item as protection, we probably won't have a 1% chance of success. Furthermore, failure will spell certain death, warned the pill fairy gravely. This black illusion dragon flame is something very important to me. I want to try it. However, I have no divine item to store it, so I'll need your Danite furnace for that. How about this? If we get it together, we'll split it 30, 70. I'll take 30, and you can take 70. I just need 30% of its essence, said Long Chen Novaloon.com. Are you being serious? Of course I'm being serious. Do you not want to try it? Long Chen had learned from Evil Moon just how powerful the Danite furnace was. Without it, Long Chen wouldn't be able to subdue this terrifying flame. However, he felt that he had a high chance with the Pill Fairy and the Danite furnace. The Pill Fairy hesitated. In the end, she agreed to take the risk. Even the pill fairy herself didn't know why she had agreed. This was crazy. The two of them entered deeper. It was unknown what material this palace was made of in order to block the encroachment of the black chi. However, based on the erosion on the walls, it wouldn't be long before this palace collapsed. Many runes were starting to grow dim. At the center of the palace was a spiral passage going downward. It led to an underground palace. This underground palace had a single pillar holding it up. Long Chen finally personally saw the black dragon. When he saw it, his scalp turned numb. Does my disease really want to kill me? Chapter 1647 Strange Power Translator Born to be do you have a good plan? The pill fairy looked at Long Chen. Since she had agreed to take this risk, she wanted to know his plan. A plan. Long Chen awkwardly said, it seems. I don't have one. The pill fairy's beautiful eyes looked blankly at him. She almost didn't believe her ears. Then how are you going to handle it? I feel like fighting to the death should work. Right. Long Chen felt a bit helpless. He had no method to deal with the black illusion dragon flame that he knew nothing about. The pill fairy was speechless. You don't even know the abilities of the black illusion dragon flame. And you want to subdue it? You're too impetuous. I feel like as a youngster, I need to be hot-blooded. That's my drive to keep going forward, said Long Chen unabashedly. Take this more seriously. You should know that the Black Illusion Dragon Flame is extremely terrifying. Not only does it have its berserk energy, but it also has the ability to create illusions. That illusion formation you encountered outside wasn't installed by someone. It's the result of the Black Illusion Dragon Flame's energy leaking out. If we want to subdue it, we need a detailed plan, or there's no chance to succeed. Then do you have any good plans? The pill fairy shook her head. If even you, someone who grew up from childhood in Pill Valley, a genius who knows everything about every flame, have no plan, that means that there is no good plan for handling the black illusion dragon flame. Daydreaming will only waste time. That's why I said we can only fight to the death with it. I'll go draw its attention to make it leave the pillar before looking for some kind of opportunity. You back up a bit. A golden flame spear appeared in Long Chen's hand. He threw it at the black dragon's head. Boom. The golden flame spear exploded. Long Chen was shocked to find that this flame spear, which was powerful enough to pierce through mountains, was barely able to shake the black dragon's head slightly. However, he had succeeded. It had been slumbering and now it slowly opened its eyes. Its huge eyes contained two different runes. One was a flower-shaped design, 
while the other was a spherical design. When it opened its eyes, Long Chen and the pill fairy's hair stood on end. A terrifying sensation of death enveloped them. A berserk energy surged along with endless black flames. Long Chen and the pill fairy immediately poured more energy into their flame armor to block these black flames. But Long Chen was shocked to find that his heaven incinerating flame was being suppressed. This black flame possessed a corrosive effect that was able to invade the heaven incinerating flame. It cost him a huge amount of spiritual strength to block this flame. The pill fairy was enveloped by white flames. A stark contrast to the black flames. The sight of one black and one white flame fighting was strange. However, it seemed the pill fairy didn't find it taxing. She seemed to have come prepared. And her flame had a definite resistive effect against the black illusion dragon flame. Seeing that the pill fairy was able to block it so easily. Long Chen summoned his divine ring and he unleashed a huge saber image at the black dragon. Long Chen's attack landed right on the black dragon's head. A powerful explosion rocked the palace. Long Chen's first attack, the flame spear, had been like an itch to it. It hadn't caused any pain. But this time, the black dragon let out an ear-ringing roar, and it opened its mouth, unleashing a wave of dragon breath that swept toward the two of them. Quick. Dodge. The Black Illusion Dragon Flame's Dragon Breath possesses a holy energy that will quickly exhaust your spiritual yuan and soul energy, shouted the Pill Fairy as she flew back. With the Pill Fairy's warning, Long Chen shot out of the Flame Breath. He was shocked to find that this flame was actually liquid. The Dragon Breath corroded a large hole in the ground. The Black Dragon suddenly left the pillar and charged at Long Chen. It slammed a claw at him, although its body was huge. It was still very nimble and its movements were like lightning. As its claw was like a small mountain, Long Chen had nowhere to dodge. With a cold cry, he slashed his saber at it. Boom. Long Chen's arms trembled. An irresistible power sent him flying. He took nine steps to stabilize himself after that blow. On the last step, the immense power caused him to smash a hole in the ground. What immense power. Long Chen's heart turned cold. This was an earth flame spirit beast. It was not a true magical beast. So how could it possess such terrifying power? However, while he had been sent flying, he saw that the black dragon had stiffened from his attack. It could be seen that his own power was not completely useless against it. Spirit flame seals the heavens. Divine will locks the earth. I summon the spirit of gods. The will of immortals. Spirit lock seals the universe. The pill fairy formed hand seals and chanted. Her sacred voice resounded through the air. White flames appeared in the air, filling this space. They condensed into runes that linked together, forming a square arch that slammed down on the black dragon's neck. The arch then nailed itself deep into the ground, forcibly dragging the black dragon's neck to the ground. Just as it was bound and attempted to struggle, more square arches condensed in the air and fell, covering it from head to tail, making it so it couldn't move. This is a good chance. Long Chen was delighted, not having expected that the pill fairy would possess such a powerful magical art. He immediately stabbed Evil Moon toward the black dragon's head. Golden flames burst out of Evil Moon. He wanted to use Evil Moon's energy to send the heaven incinerating flame into the black dragon's head. That was the only way to heavily injure it. The black illusion dragon flame was too terrifying. His heaven incinerating flame was helpless to do anything to it. But if it exploded inside its head, he was confident it could deal a heavy blow. Wait a moment, cried the pill fairy. She actually jumped in front of him. Long Chen jumped in fright and hastily stopped his saber. The feeling of forcibly pulling back his blow was striking himself, causing him to cough up a mouthful of blood. King Xuan, you. Long Chen looked at the pill fairy in disbelief. Long Chen, watch out. Just as Long Chen was trying to figure out her incomprehensible actions, a voice rang out from a great distance. At the same time, a terrifying sensation of crisis enveloped him. Suddenly, the pill fairy in front of him vanished, replaced by a giant claw. By the time Long Chen reacted, it was too late to dodge or block. The claw slammed into Long Chen, and he shot back, smashing into a wall. A huge hole was smashed into it. Long Chen coughed up blood once more, looking in shock up ahead. He saw the pill fairy, who had summoned a giant white flame shield for him, block the black dragon's attack. 
The flame shield then exploded as the black dragon's tail whipped toward her. She had to retreat, narrowly dodging it. The black dragon roared and its dragon breath spurted toward her. Furthermore, Long Chen was shocked to find that the pill fairy's expression seemed lost and was dumbfounded. She didn't seem to see the danger in front of her, and tears appeared in her eyes. Split the heavens five. Long Chen roared and slashed Devil Moon at the black dragon's head, forcibly diverting the dragon breath. King Xuan, what's going on? shouted Long Chen. The pill fairy stiffened. Her face reddened but quickly returned to normal. She gravely warned. Be careful. The illusion part of the black illusion dragon flame's name refers to its ability to peer inside a person and create illusions. These illusions are not transmitted through the senses, but through the heart. It can be likened to a natural reflection of the heart, making it unpreventable. Long Chen cursed inside. Didn't that mean his sixth sense was useless? The black dragon roared again. Its scale began to rise, and its body grew larger. Its berserk aura grew stronger and stronger. It seemed fully angered. King Xuan, let's try again. Prepare your seal just like last time. If I can heavily injure it, immediately use the day night furnace. Long Chen was already rushing over to the black dragon. Feng Fu Star, Alief Star, Life Fate Star, Enlightenment Palace Star. Four stars appeared in his divine ring behind him. He seemed like a sharp blade that had come out of its sheath, unleashing brilliant light. Like an arrow shooting from a bow, he charged at the black dragon. Chapter 1648 Bad Person Doing Bad Things Translator Born to be Boom The black dragon roared and slammed its claw at Long Chen's saber. The entire palace shook violently. How is its power so great? Even with the four-star battle armor activated, Long Chen was still having trouble with it. He almost lost his grip on his saber. The Black Illusion Dragon Flame has two kinds of strange energy. One is to manifest illusions within the heart, while another is that each of its core runes possesses immense destructive power. That energy is like a volcano erupting or gunpowder exploding and is more like a law. Just relying on physical power, there's no way to fight it, explained the Pill Fairy. Could it be that he would have to activate the fifth star? However, he couldn't maintain that state for long, and even if he did, he wouldn't necessarily be able to suppress the black illusion dragon flame. If he couldn't subdue it and ended up wasting all his energy, it would be over. Long Chen repeatedly attacked with his saber, lightning wings on his back. He flitted back and forth, fighting with the black dragon. Each time he clashed against it, he felt like he was striking an exploding star. With each collision, he felt like he would be blown back. That power wasn't just being transmitted through Evil Moon, but it was also being transmitted through space, as if it was being rapidly compressed and then exploding. Since the power was coming from all directions, it made Long Chen's fight extremely bitter. He had never encountered this kind of power. It was absolutely bizarre. It was like the black dragon had endless firecrackers inside its body and would release one each time they clashed, shaking his body violently. Watch out, it's preparing an attack, shouted the pill fairy, who had been maintaining a ready state to unleash her magical art this entire time. The black dragon's scales, which had been raised, now stuck back onto its body. However, this time, each of those scales had a black rune shining in the middle of it. At the same time, the spherical rune in one of its giant eyes blazed with light. The black dragon opened its mouth. This time, what came out wasn't a dragon breath attack but a huge black sphere. Long Chen's hair stood on end as he felt a horrifying sensation of death. There was no way he could receive this attack. When he was preparing to attack, he felt the surrounding space compress, binding him. Just as he was about to helplessly activate the five-star battle armor, a white flame chain snaked around his waist and pulled him out of that spatial domain. Boom. The black sphere shot past his body like a shooting star. It struck the palace's wall, and surging astral winds crashed toward Long Chen and the Pill Fairy. Long Chen was worried that the Pill Fairy's physical body wouldn't be able to handle such a powerful impact. So he pushed the Pill Fairy further away before the impact came. When the impact came, he felt like he had been struck by a star and was sent flying. He coughed up a mouthful of blood, feeling like every bone in his body had shattered. 
the pill fairy caught Long Chen to avoid him smashing into a wall and being further injured. Despite doing her best to alleviate a portion of the power, Long Chen still coughed up blood when he crashed into her. The two tumbled back. The two of them were about to crash into the wall. And so Long Chen grabbed the pill fairy's waist, slamming his foot on the wall. He forcibly changed their momentum, charging straight up. The black illusion dragon flame was too monstrous. This kind of power simply wasn't reasonable. There was no way of subduing it. He had seen it clearly just now. The black dragon's aura hadn't dropped at all after unleashing that attack. In other words, it could unleash a similar attack at least dozens of times. There was no way for them to defend against that. Long Chen gave up and prepared to flee. However, just as he was preparing to flee, the underground palace shook. Broken parts of the wall shattered and fell, revealing a light barrier. There's a formation Long Chen and the Pill Fairy were startled. They hadn't sensed this formation before. Divine runes flowed, enveloping the underground palace. Countless divine chains appeared and bound the Black Dragon. The Black Dragon let out a heaven-shaking roar. All of its black scales rose, and its berserk energy continuously magnified. Ripples spread in every direction from it. However, no matter how it struggled, it couldn't break free from these chains. That delighted Long Chen and the Pill Fairy. It seemed that the Jade Lake Venerate had wisely seen through the possibility of the Black Illusion Dragon Flame maturing and growing too powerful for others to subdue. So she had left behind a restriction to prevent it from fleeing. Long Chen and the Pill Fairy exchanged a glance. With the formation's help, subduing the Black Dragon should be easier. However, just as they were getting excited, they heard a cracking sound. Those chains began to break as the Black Dragon struggled with all its might. Not good. The Black Illusion Dragon Flame has grown too powerful, and the formation has weakened over time. It might not be able to hold it, exclaimed the Pill Fairy. All right, then I'll attack it and try to give it a heavy injury. Then you use the Daynight Furnace to capture it. Long Chen charged out alone. The Pill Fairy wanted to attack with him. However, the Black Illusion Dragon Flame possessed the strange ability to control a person's heart. Attacking together would just cause chaos, so she stayed back to wait for her chance. Golden flames enveloped Evil Moon again. Long Chen stabbed it toward the Black Dragon's head. Buzz. Just as Evil Moon was about to stab through the Black Dragon's head, Long Chen's head became muddled. Countless scenes appeared in his mind. Die. He knew that this was the Black Illusion Dragon Flame attempting to disturb him. With a furious roar. He concentrated his sixth sense on his saber and expelled all other thoughts. Those strange scenes turned dark. However, just as Long Chen used his own will to block the Black Illusion Dragon Flame's illusory arts, the sound of a zither rang out. An invisible blade sliced toward him. This isn't an illusion. Long Chen instinctively gave up his attack and slashed his saber to the side. Boom. Long Chen's wrist shook as immense power knocked him back. Aya. So sorry. This black illusion dragon flame is an earth flame spirit beast, a natural creation of heaven and earth. How could you be so cruel as to kill it? Don't you think it would be better if I took it as a husband? A melodious voice rang out. Shen Bijin's figure appeared in the sky, right where the entrance was. Clearly, she had come a long time ago. However, because Long Chen and the Pill Fairy had been completely focused on this terrifying black illusion dragon flame, they hadn't sensed her existence. Cracking sounds rang out in increasing intensity. The Black Illusion Dragon Flame seemed to go crazy. Both the runes in its eyes were rapidly spinning, and its power continued to rise. Long Chen, watch out. She's using her zither music to draw out the Black Illusion Dragon Flame's berserk nature, stimulating its potential, shouted the Pill Fairy. This Shen Bijin was both sinister and powerful. She was able to use her zither music to control the emotions of this earth flame spirit beast. This way, she might really be able to control the black illusion dragon flame. Once she was in control of it, she would become truly terrifying. Since you want to court death, fine. Long Chen took a deep breath. His energy circulated within him as he prepared to summon the five-star battle armor. Long Chen, don't be in such a rush. I still have something important to tell you. Don't you want to know where Dishin is? Shen Bijin smiled as she continued playing the seven-string C-suppressing zither. 
You can't stall for time. Divine Gate Star. Long Chen shot forward. The fifth star in his divine ring lighting up. Five stars revolved in his eyes. And an undefeatable will burst out. That will was like the king of gods had appeared. Staring at Chen Bijan. Ah. Long Chen. You are really laughably arrogant. Do you really think you are invincible in the same realm? Fine. I'll tell you. Last time. If Zi Yan hadn't held back. You'd have long since died. Since Zi Yan could kill you. I can do the same. Shen Bijan smiled coldly. All of a sudden, she slammed her hand on the seven-string sea suppressing zither. Endless heavenly Tao energy coalesced, and her manifestation sprang into existence. All the heavenly Tao energy in the world seemed to have been summoned by her zither music, forming a mass of primal chaos behind her. Within the primal chaos was a vague zither. Divine music flowed out of her manifestation. It was just like Zi Yan's manifestation. The unique manifestation of the elusive music immortal palace. Divine music through eternity. However, Shen Bijin's manifestation contained slaughter. It was heartless, merciless, and tyrannical. Her aura explosively rose. Just as she said, her aura was even stronger than Zi Yan's. And her cultivation base had reached the seventh heaven stage of soul transformation. I believe you when you say Zi Yan is capable of killing me. But you? HMPH, you won't be able to achieve such a thing in your entire lifetime. Long Chen slashed Evil Moon at Chen Bijan. The world shook from his power. Arrogant brat, you'll pay a huge price for your ego and foolishness. Chen Bijan's expression sank. She fiercely slammed both hands on the seven string C suppressing zither, and a wave of light shot out at Long Chen. Wherever that wave went, space was ripped apart. It was like up and down were being displaced. Boom. Long Chen's evil moon clashed fiercely against Shen Bijin's attack. Chapter 1649 The Black Illusion Dragon Flame Escapes Its Seal Translator. Born to be Boom. Two powerful forces clashed in the sky. Divine music rumbled and runes exploded. Long Chen was unable to break Shen Bijin's attack and was deadlocked with her. Unable to reach her. HMPH. Did you think that your fight with Zi Yan would make a good estimate for my power? What a huge joke. Zi Yan walks her hypocritical peaceful path, wanting to subdue people with kindness, to use music to educate people and bestow benevolence to the world. In truth, that's a completely foolish and unrealistic way of thinking. In front of foolish people, slaughter is the most direct path. That's why I cultivate the music killing path. Now, do you understand the difference between me and Zi Yan? Shen Bijin smiled with profound ridicule. Ripples were spreading from her zither, unleashing powerful waves that surged toward Long Chen. Long Chen forcibly endured the seven string C suppressing zither sound waves. He sneered. Although Zi Yan is my enemy, there is an important place for her in my heart. There's a huge difference between our understanding of the heavenly deos. But I should tell you that Zi Yan's hide isn't something someone like you can reach. To be decisive with killing isn't wrong in itself but you don't even have a bottom line as a person. The fact that you will use any despicable means only proves that your heart is shadowed, and that you hate this world. You cast that hate onto others. Someone like you is completely selfish and opinionated. You never use a mirror to look at yourself. You just feel like everyone else is wrong but you are always right. Or perhaps when you find your own mistake, you'll comfort yourself by saying that it wasn't you that was wrong, but this world. Do you think someone like you can be compared to Zi Yan? Don't be so shameless die. Shen Bijin let out a sharp cry. Her face was twisted in fury, becoming incredibly sinister. Each of Long Chen's words had been like poison darts shooting into her heart. Zi Yan had become her heart devil. People comparing her to Zi Yan had become her nightmare. The divine runes of the seven string C suppressing zither unleashed even greater brilliance. When Shen Bijin was enraged. Her manifestation shook, and the sound of slaughter came out even louder from it. A ray of brilliant divine light shot at Long Chen. Evil Moon, stop acting dead. She's been using her divine item's power this entire time, and it's getting tiring using only my power. Hurry up and help, demanded Long Chen. Long Chen had been relying on his own power to block her divine item, and he was only able to barely block it. However, now that Shen Bijin was using her full power, 
combining her power with the seven string C suppressing zither, it was taxing for Long Chen to fight without Evil Moon's help. If the rest of the world learned that he was able to use his own power to resist a divine item, people's jaws would definitely drop. That kind of power was something only Nether Passage experts could possess. About that, I'm in a crucial juncture right now. If I help now, I'll lose half of the energy from the purgatory evil dragon I absorbed. That's too much of a waste. Can you see if you can handle it yourself? Asked Evil Moon awkwardly. The soul essence from the purgatory evil dragon was currently being absorbed by it. However, it couldn't be refined in bits and pieces, but only as one full body. It was 80% through the refinement, and using its energy would cause the energy of the purgatory evil dragon to dissipate. Evil Moon was unwilling to do so. However, Long Chen was only at the soul transformation realm. To have him fight against Shen Bijin and the Seven String Sea suppressing Zither without a divine was too difficult. You really are a conner. Seeing that divine light coming toward him, Long Chen could only helplessly prepare to take out the heaven flipping brick. Suddenly, a golden furnace appeared in front of him, blocking the divine light. It was the Day Night Furnace. The Pill Fairy had blocked it for him. The Day Night Furnace's divine light blocked the light of the Seven String Sea suppressing Zither. Shen Bijin's body shook, and she looked at the Pill Fairy with shock. The name of the Pill Fairy is not for naught. You are actually able to place your soul within your divine item and activate its power at will. Admirable Shen Bijin's words were a compliment, but her gaze was icy cold. Long Chen, the Black Illusion Dragon Flame is about to break out of its seal. I tried to draw it into the Day-Night Furnace several times, but it wouldn't work. You think of something and I'll handle Shen Bijin, messaged the Pill Fairy to Long Chen. Long Chen nodded. This was good too, since Evil Moon couldn't bring out its power, and the Heaven Flipping Brick was a defensive weapon and a hidden trump card. It was too difficult for him to deal with Shen Bijin. He told the Pill Fairy to be careful as Shen Bijin schemed very deeply. The Pill Fairy nodded. Seeing Long Chen go toward the Black Dragon, she indifferently said, Why are you so fake? You and I are the same. 30% of our soul is resting within our divine items. We both have an initial level of control over them. If one of us should be admiring the other, it should be me admiring you. I started communicating with the Day-Night Furnace from the age of 10, which is the only reason I have this level of control over it. According to what I know, the seven-string C suppressing zither was always held by Zi Yan. So if my guess isn't wrong, you only came to possess the seven string C suppressing zither after Zi Yan returned from the Grand Han. In other words, you managed to reach this level of control in just a short three months. To tell the truth, I really find it difficult to believe she truly found it difficult to do so. The item spirits of divine items felt a great aversion to being controlled by other people's souls. Most experts were only capable of using a portion of a divine item's power because they were unable to gain the approval of the item spirit. To obtain that approval required lowering the item spirit's wariness and dislike toward you. That took a very long time. Another requirement was that the item spirit had to approve of your talent. Only when a divine item thought you could grow into a supreme expert would it accept you. The majority of experts in control of divine items were unable to win that approval and were only able to order their divine items to attack based on the control of contractual divine runes. That would make the divine item even more irritated, and it would use the minimum energy possible when attacking. However, when an expert was able to send 30% of their soul energy into a divine item to control it, it meant that the item spirit had approved of that person. It was just that for both Shen Bijin and the Pill Fairy, due to the limitations of their cultivation base, 30% was their limit. Any more and they wouldn't have enough soul energy to control their own bodies. If they were sneak attacked while focusing all their soul energy on their divine item, they would lose the ability to protect themselves. Adhering 30% of one's soul to a divine item was equivalent to forming a mental connection with it. Not only could you control it, but the item spirit would also work together with you to unleash the maximum possible amount of power. There's no need for you to admire me. 
The reason I was able to gain the seven string C suppressing zither's approval is because most people don't know that this core divine item of my elusive music immortal palace is actually an item for killing people. Both Zi Yan and my master are wrong. Only when the seven string C suppressing zither is in my hands can it unleash the greatest power. Only I, Shen Bijin, am fit for the seven string C suppressing zither. Pill Fairy, I don't want to be enemies with you. But I must kill Long Chen. I hope you can move out of the way. Or don't blame me for being vicious. Said Shen Bijin icily. Boom. As the pill fairy and Shen Bijin were talking. An explosive sound distracted them. Long Chen had slashed his saber at the illusion black dragon flame's head. However. He was startled to find its long tail had whipped toward him. He had barely noticed it in time to change his attack. He managed to cut off a portion of its tail. Impossible. How can an earth flame spirit beast possess such high intelligence Long Chen was startled. Earth flame spirit beasts were mindless, berserk, and wild. They couldn't possibly have such fast and skillful reactions. His attack had been so sudden, but it had blocked with the least amount of effort. The black dragon roared, and its whole body shuddered. The majority of the chains binding it had broken now. It roared once more, and now the remaining chains exploded. At the same time, the divine runes on the walls rapidly faded. The formation began to disappear. Having escaped its bindings, the black dragon roared and opened its mouth. A black sphere shot toward Long Chen. At the same time, that spatial compression reappeared. However, now that Long Chen had the five-star battle armor activated, this locking power was unable to fully bind him. With a single step, he escaped the domain. The black sphere shot past him and struck the wall. This time, because the formation had vanished, the black sphere pierced the land. The entire palace crumbled. Long Chen flew into the sky out of the ruins. He saw that everything in a thousand miles had collapsed, forming a giant hole. There was also a huge line of palaces that had crumbled. That was the result of the black sphere shooting through them. The black illusion dragon flame's power was truly terrifying. The ruins exploded as the Pill Fairy and Shen Bijin appeared. The Day-Night Furnace slowly revolved around the Pill Fairy, unleashing divine energy that protected her. She held a white flame sword in her hand as she attacked Shen Bijin. Shen Bijin's fingers danced across the seven-string sea suppressing zither. Waves of divine music resounded throughout the air along with sharp blades that sliced toward the Pill Fairy. Boom. The ground caved in as a furious roar shook the sky. The huge black dragon charged out of the ground and at Long Chen. Having escaped its seal, its aura was more terrifying than ever. Chapter 1650 Spirits Suppress the Heaven's Song Translator Born to be the Black Illusion Dragon Flame had broken free of the bindings of the formation. Its aura instantly rose to a new peak as it attacked Long Chen. Long Chen slashed his saber at it. Earth Flame Spirit Beasts like it practically had no intelligence. They relied purely on brute force. Boom. The black dragon was forced back by Long Chen. With his five-star battle armor, even the black illusion dragon flame with its strange explosive power was blockable. However, just as he blew it back and was preparing to attack again, the black dragon's tail whipped over from behind him. Long Chen was startled and hastily blocked. Just as he blocked it, runes filled the sky. The tail had whipped him into the black dragon's open mouth. It was about to devour him. Long Chen was delighted by that. Being devoured by it would be amazing. As long as he was sent inside the black dragon's body, he had several ways to instantly kill it. Unfortunately, just as he was about to be devoured, a black sphere condensed in the dragon's mouth. Long Chen immediately had a bad feeling, and thunder force circulated around his feet. He flashed to the side, narrowly dodging it. A black ray of light shot past him destroying all the palaces in its path. Something's wrong. An earth flame spirit beast cannot possess this level of intelligence. Long Chen's expression was gloomy. He looked into the distance and saw the pill fairy fighting Shen Bijin. Shen Bijin had a faint sneer on her face. Her fingers were constantly dancing across the seven string sea suppressing zither. Waves of divine music were resounding through space, and invisible blades would constantly fly toward the pill fairy. The Pill Fairy's white flame sword constantly sliced through them, resulting in powerful explosions. It was an incredibly fierce fight. Ha ha ha, not bad. 
So you saw through it? Yes. The Black Illusion Dragon Flame is currently under the control of my zither. A mindless brute like this only requires the most rudimentary spirits suppress the Heaven Song to control it. How does that taste? Laughed Shen Bijin Noveloon.com The Black Illusion Dragon Flame was berserk but had little intelligence. Hence, it was actually affected by Shen Bijin's music, and her control over it was getting better over time as her music sank into it. Although she could only control it for a moment, it was still amazing. The flavor's not bad, but it's not the flavor that I like. You should prepare yourself. Long Chen sneered and sent the black dragon flying with a slash of his saber. He knew that he couldn't continue like this. He might be able to fight against the black dragon now, but the five-star battle armor took up too much of his spiritual yuan. As time stretched on, he would be at a disadvantage. Long Chen suddenly put away Evil Moon. He formed hand seals, and his expression became solemn. He began to chant, and the entire world was filled with the sound of a sacred scripture. Long Chen was activating the Nirvana scripture. The scripture sounded like gods and devils were chanting along with him. Endless flame energy surged toward Long Chen's divine ring. In that instant, it felt like the world's flame energy was sucked dry. The distant pill fairy was shocked. Her own flames were affected greatly, and her manifestation was rippling. Even a portion of her heavenly Tao energy was being sucked away by Long Chen's Nirvana scripture. It's the same scripture, so why is the difference so great when he uses it? That kind of will can order heaven and earth to do its bidding. The pill fairy looked at Long Chen with shock. When Long Chen began chanting, he seemed to become the flame ruler of this world. Even the Black Illusion Dragon Flame shuddered as if it had sensed something terrifying. Raging Flame Prison. Long Chen's hand seal suddenly changed. Heaven and Earth rumbled. The void split open, and huge flame pillars descended from the sky. There were a total of 108 of those golden flame pillars, and they completely sealed the Black Illusion Dragon Flame in a cage. The cage then rapidly shrank, binding the Black Dragon tightly. It struggled fiercely. But as Long Chen continued chanting, it was unable to break free from the golden cage. The black dragon's scale suddenly lit up, and its stomach bulged as if a sphere was condensing inside it. A terrifying pressure descended as it was preparing a powerful attack. Right at that moment, the day night furnace above the pill fairy's head unleashed a sharp ray of light that shot at Shen Bijin. It was a completely sudden attack that made Shen Bijin's expression change. She hastily slammed the seven-string sea-suppressing zither, and a wave of divine light blocked the attack. However, her block was too hurried, and she coughed up a mouthful of blood, flying back. Don't think you can do the same thing twice. The pill fairy pressed her hand against the day-night furnace, and it grew larger until it was like a mountain. It smashed toward Shen Bijin. This time, the power of the day-night furnace caused space to explode. The pill fairy was finally bringing out her full power. Pentatonic breaks the void. Shen Bijin suddenly plucked five strings of her zither. Her fingers immediately split open, revealing bones. The seven-string sea suppressing zither had seven strings, but five of those strings represented the pentatonic scale, while the other two represented heaven and earth. Rumor was that the seven-string sea suppressing zither's origin was extremely shocking. Seven strings to suppress the sea didn't refer to a sea of water, but a sea of blood. Shen Bijin's words from before were correct. The seven-string sea suppressing zither was a weapon for slaughter. The reason she could win its approval was because she was vicious enough. Shen Bijin's attacks had always been made by plucking one string at a time. Activating two would cause its power to double. As for activating five at once, it wasn't five times the power. It was doubling its power five times. That was absolutely terrifying. Legend had it that when the seven-string sea suppressing zither seven strings rang at once, everything within heaven and earth would die. This time, Shen Bijin had activated five at once, and her fingers immediately split open. She coughed up a mouthful of blood and turned pale as paper. However, there was a vicious light in her eyes. Although she had paid a price, she had activated the music of annihilation. It was like thunder, shaking the world. A terrifying sound wave crashed toward the day-night furnace. Boom. Two divine items had activated their strongest attacks. The shock waves spread in every direction, and the surrounding palaces were turned to dust. 
This world-shaking collision sent the Pill Fairy and Chen Bijin flying. An unhealthy rosiness appeared on the Pill Fairy's face, showing that she had also been injured. However, Shen Bijin had paid an even heavier price. She looked at the Pill Fairy in shock. Not good. Right at that moment, Shen Bijin's expression changed. She realized that the instant she had exchanged full power attacks with the Pill Fairy, Long Chen had stabbed his saber into the Black Dragon's head. The instant the saber stabbed its head, the Black Dragon let out a mournful cry. Although it was incredibly powerful, it had no intelligence. Once its weak point was caught, it was doomed. Originally, Shen Bijin had been splitting her attention to control the Black Dragon and direct it in combat. She was confident in using it to at least heavily injure or even kill Long Chen. Now she knew why the Pill Fairy would instantly erupt with her full power despite injuring herself in the process. It was to win Long Chen this opportunity. Golden flames on top of Long Chen's saber erupted, causing the Black Dragon's head to explode. However, the Black Illusion Dragon Flame was not a magical beast, and its head was just a portion of its energy. It didn't die. Nevertheless, with such a core region destroyed, its aura weakened greatly. Long Chen immediately kicked it over toward the Pill Fairy. I'll leave it to you. The Pill Fairy didn't hesitate. The Day Night Furnace opened and swallowed the Black Illusion Dragon Flame. The Day Night Furnace rumbled as the Black Illusion Dragon Flame fought back. The Pill Fairy was doing her best to suppress it. However, it was taxing. You want to subdue the Black Illusion Dragon Flame? Keep dreaming. Shen Bijin finally realized she had fallen for Long Chen's plan. Their goal had always been to first eliminate the threat of the Black Illusion Dragon Flame and then team up against her. Without the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, Shen Bijin had lost a powerful trump card. She had no assurance to win in a one against two. Her hand recovered, and she began to play the sea suppressing zither rapidly. Meanwhile, the Pill Fairy coughed up a mouthful of blood as the Black Illusion Dragon Flame's struggling grew even more intense. She was starting to be unable to suppress it. Shen Bijin's music was stimulating the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, causing its berserk energy to constantly rise and allowing it to fight in the most effective way possible. With the Pill Fairy's current power, she was not strong enough to suppress it. Even a heavily injured Black Illusion Dragon Flame was something she could barely handle. With Shen Bijin causing chaos, it was getting difficult. While Shen Bijin was using her zither music to control the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, a black saber light pierced through heaven and earth. A sensation of death enveloped her, and Shen Bijin immediately sensed it. Seeing Long Chen had slashed Devil Moon at her with both hands, her expression completely changed. She suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood onto the seven string sea suppressing zither. That was her essence blood, and having obtained it, the seven string sea suppressing zither instantly blossomed with divine light. Spirits suppressed the heaven's song. Shen Bijin crossed her arms in front of her and pressed them on the zither strings fiercely. With a buzzing sound, Shen Bijin's arms exploded, filling the air with blood. Chapter 1651 Spatial Projection Divine Talisman Translator Born to be Shen Bijin's arms exploded, and within the resulting mist of blood, various figures could be seen including dragons, phoenixes, divine tortoises, white dragons, etc. Those figures were incredibly lifelike. They roared, and a kind of heavenly Tao music appeared in the air. They rapidly merged with the zither music, until over 10,000 beasts merged into one giant arrow. Spirits pierced the cloud's arrow. Shen Bijin was as pale as paper, but a vicious and crazy light appeared in her eyes. This was a powerful killing move that was part of the spirit's suppress the heavens song. It was even stronger than the move she had just used against the pill fairy. In front of this arrow that had been condensed of over 10,000 beasts, Long Chen was still absolutely fearless. He knew that this should be Shen Bijin's strongest attack, and it was definitely the most terrifying attack he had seen so far. However, he continued slashing Evil Moon, and a will to split anything in his path even if it were the heavens themselves, erupted out of him, split the heavens six, Long Chen's giant saber image struck Shen Bijin's arrow, a blinding explosion of light erupted, Shen Bijin coughed up a mouthful of blood, she was shocked to find that her full power attack had been cut in two by Long Chen's saber, furthermore, 
his attack was still coming for her. She hastily placed the seven string C suppressing zither in front of her. The ancient zither trembled, and its strings lit up. Long Chen's saber image exploded, but the resulting power sent the seven string C suppressing zither flying. Flying alongside it was Shen Bijin. She had never expected Long Chen to have such a terrifying move. This was completely different from what she knew of him. She had seen the images of his fight in the Grand Han. Although he was powerful, she was completely confident that as long as she used the spirits suppress the Heaven's Song, he would definitely die. However, the current Long Chen had totally transformed. The sixth form of Split the Heavens was a turning point within the nine forms of Split the Heavens. The power contained within this move was not just pure power. It also contained the power of a law, a kind of will to not bend to heaven and earth's restrictions. Shen Bijin coughed up three mouthfuls of blood. Her body almost broke apart because of this move. She actually didn't die. Long Chen was startled. The sixth form of split the heavens was his strongest move right now, but he didn't manage to kill Shen Bijin with it. This attack should have been enough to finish the job, but Evil Moon was unable to support him right now. If he had had divine power backing his attack, Shen Bijin would definitely have died. This move was incredibly powerful, but it was also exhausting. It had taken almost half his spiritual yuan to unleash it. If Evil Moon had helped, its power would have magnified, but its cost would have increased as well. After unleashing it, he would be weary to the bone. Seeing that he hadn't killed her with this attack, Long Chen immediately shot forward, attacking her again. However, before his saber could land, Shen Bijin regrew her shattered arms and plucked one of the seven string C suppressing zither's strings. Her figure began to ripple like water, and she vanished just like that in front of Long Chen. When she reappeared, she was already in the sky. This strange movement art caused Long Chen to miss. Shen Bijin was pale as she stood in the sky. She coldly looked at Long Chen. I didn't expect you to have such a move. Those old bastards from the heaven splitting battle sect are really meddlesome. Otherwise, you would already be dead. The nine forms of split the heavens were a secret art that the heaven splitting battle sect had never transmitted outside their sect. The fact that Long Chen had learned the sixth form was outside the scope of her plans, causing her to almost lose her life. If a woman has a malicious mouth and a sinister heart, then she's just trash in human skin. As for you, you are the very definition of trash. In all my years, you are the first person I've met who is such garbage. Long Chen's gaze was icy cold. This was his first time encountering such a sinister woman with such an irritating mouth. From the old man to the seven bosses to the regular disciples like Bao Buping and Chang Hao. From top to bottom, the heaven-splitting battle sect's people were all rare, straightforward, and upright. That was why despite knowing that there was no need to get angry, Long Chen still couldn't suppress his anger at Shen Bijin's malicious mouth. Ha ha ha, go ahead and curse me. Are you angry? Then let me tell you something even better. Are you wondering what Di Shen is doing right now? He has gone to find your little wives, as he has found the heavenly water jewel pearl. If nothing unexpected happened, he must have found your wives as well, and they're already in the palm of his hand. How's that? Are you even angrier? Laughed Shen Bijin crazily. Long Chen sneered. I don't believe he could find them so quickly. Looks like you're underestimating me. I have immersed myself in the music Tao for 28 years. Whether it's talent, aptitude, or willpower, I'm above Zi Yan. Don't you know why I had you all listen to my music before? Fine. I'll tell you. Anyone who listens to my music will have their spiritual fluctuations memorized by the seven string C suppressing zither. I can then easily use the seven string C suppressing zither to find their locations. Otherwise, how do you think I found you? Shen Bijin was very pleased with herself. Long Chen's expression immediately changed. A bad feeling rose in his heart. The elusive music Immortal Palace had a long history and inheritance and there was a high chance that Shen Bijin's words were true. In that case, Men Qi and the others were in danger. Without saying a word, Thunder Force circulated around Long Chen's feet, and he shot toward Shen Bijin like a bolt of lightning. However, Shen Bijin plucked a string once more, and those water-like fluctuations reappeared. She vanished, reappearing a mile away. This was a very strange ability. 
I admit that the sixth form of split the heavens is very powerful. Even with the spirits suppress the heavens song, I couldn't kill you. However, you're dreaming if you think you can kill me. You only have two options now. One is to chase after me here, but with my evasive arts. Even though I've used up the majority of my spiritual yuan, you will be helpless to do anything to me for hours as we play hide and seek. Two is to leave and go save your wives. However, once you leave, I will kill her. She's currently at a crucial moment in sealing the Black Illusion Dragon Flame. Once you leave, I will stimulate its power and cause it to break out of her seal. By myself, I wouldn't be able to do anything to the Pill Fairy, but with its assistance, she will definitely die. If you leave, the Pill Fairy dies. If you don't leave, your wives will fall into Dizin's hands. Long Chen, what do you think about the choices I've given you? Ha ha ha. Shen Bijin laughed maniacally, her expression twisted. Where was her original air of a beautiful fairy? She was practically a madwoman. Long Chen's killing intent immediately surged. His fury was at a peak. Shen Bijin and Di Xin were really courting death. Shen Bijin was too sinister and novel. Her schemes always resulted in her being the winner no matter what choice Long Chen made. Long Chen, don't bother with me. She can't kill me, said the pill fairy. But. There are no bots. You must leave. Long Chen, I'm very grateful to you, but you must go, said the pill fairy decisively. Long Chen hesitated for a moment before he took a deep breath and shot away like a bolt of lightning, going in Tang Wan'er and the other's direction. Seeing him leave, Shen Bijin wasn't surprised at all. She smiled at the pill fairy. So, you've been abandoned. Long Chen never had you in his heart. Now you're alone, and you're not a match for me. Shen Bijin began to play her zither again. The day-night furnace, which had stabilized, was now starting to quiver again from the black illusion dragon flames struggling. I admit your schemes are smart. However, other people aren't fools. So don't think you're the only one with a brain. I've already trapped the black illusion dragon flame. And while you were fighting with Long Chen, I activated the day-night furnace's formation. Your actions just now are only causing a bit of trouble for me. It's unable to shake the seal, said the pill fairy indifferently. Shen Bijin's sneer quickly vanished. As she controlled the black illusion dragon flame, she found that the pill fairy's words were correct. The day-night furnace's formation was already complete. The black illusion dragon flame had used up too much of its energy, and no matter how she tried, she couldn't have it break free. Slot, you're courting death. Release the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, and I'll spare your life, shouted Shen Bijin. The Pill Fairy smiled faintly and shook her head. Tell me, even if I were to just stand here and do nothing, would you dare to kill me? Shen Bijin's expression changed. She truly didn't dare to kill the Pill Fairy, even if she was the apprentice of the elusive music Immortal Palace's master. She didn't dare to. If she killed the Pill Fairy, she definitely wouldn't survive Pill Valley's wrath. It's fine even if I can't kill you. Once I use you as a hostage, I'll still be the winner. I wonder, if I use you as a hostage, will Long Chen kowtow to me for you? Shen Bijin laughed and divine light flowed around the seven string sea suppressing zither. Just like that, she smashed the ancient zither at the pill fairy's waist. Shen Bijin, although I can't do anything to you, you are also powerless to do anything to me. The pill fairy suddenly took out a talisman. She crushed the talisman, and in that instant, she and the day-night furnace became translucent. Shen Bijin's zither went right through the pill fairy without harming her in the slightest. A spatial projection divine talisman. Shen Bijin finally became ashen. She recognized this divine talisman from legends. The pill fairy was right in front of her, but because space had been displaced, what Shen Bijin was seeing was nothing more than a projection. She couldn't harm the pill fairy. This was a divine talisman that only existed in legends. This divine talisman should lose effect within two hours based on legend. However, she couldn't wait two hours. By that time, the pill fairy would have fully suppressed the black illusion dragon flame. Staying here was meaningless to Shen Bijin now. We'll see who wins in the end. Hopefully, you can still smile once you see Long Chen's head in my hand. 
Shen Bijin let out some vicious words before rushing off in the direction Long Chen had gone. Chapter 1652 Despicable Di Shen Translator Born to be in the palace where Tang Wan'er was receiving her inheritance, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Cloud, and Lu Ruian were pale, glaring at the figure standing above them. That figure was Di Shen. The palace they were in had become a world of water, and they were all within it. Tang Wan'er's eyes were closed as she absorbed the large sphere's wind energy. She had no idea that she had fallen into a crisis in the outside world. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Cloud, and Lu Ruian had summoned a light barrier blocking the water from interfering with Tang Wan'er's inheritance. It's useless. Within my heavy water world, you won't be able to last long. Within this domain, I am the ruler. No one can resist. Di Shen had his arms clasped behind his back. Looking arrogantly down on them, his voice was full of confidence. Despicable. If you're a man, let's have a real fight instead of taking advantage of others when they're having trouble, demanded Lu Ruian coldly. They had been in the midst of guarding Tang Wan'er while she absorbed the energy in the sphere when Di Shen had suddenly appeared. Before they could react, he had summoned this water domain. Di Shen was a terrifying water elemental cultivator and his heavy water domain was extremely powerful. Each drop of it was half a ton. It had instantly sealed the palace and trapped the five of them. What infuriated them the most was that Di Shen was too despicable. Seeing that they were defending Tang Wan'er, he had immediately attacked her, trying to interrupt her. Right now, Tang Wan'er was in a critical moment and could not be disturbed. The four of them had joined hands to form this barrier to block him. However, this just made them fall into Dizin's trap. They were within his heavy water domain and forced into a passive position. This heavy water domain was truly powerful, and its weight was astounding. However, the most irritating thing was that the four of them couldn't use their full power for fear of disturbing Tang Wan or they could only passively defend. This made Dishin even more fearless. Even in a one against one, you won't be a match for me. I'm just not wasting the time or effort. There's no need for you to wait for Long Chen either. Shen Bijin has already gone to personally kill him, said Di Shen with a smile. Nonsense. Big brother Long Chen is undefeatable. If you were to fight against him, even nine lives wouldn't be enough for you. Cloud was the first to stand up and defend Long Chen. In her heart, Long Chen would always be undefeatable. How laughable. In my eyes, Long Chen is just a jumping clown. If it weren't for the Skywood Divine Palace, I'd have long since slaughtered him. Regretfully, Shen Bijin said that she wanted his life, and I didn't want to fight with her over it. Otherwise, I could show you Long Chen's head right now. Stop trying to stall for time. As I said, submit and become my women, or you'll all die, sneered Di Shen. Keep dreaming, Lu Ruian replied coldly, her voice full of disdain. Di Shen furiously formed a hand seal, and his heavy water domain shuddered. Immense power crashed down on them from all sides. Meng Chi was the first to become unable to bear it. Blood leaked out of the corner of her mouth. As a soul cultivator, her spiritual yuan wasn't particularly powerful. As they had been enduring for a long time, she was about to reach her limit. Big sister Meng Chi cried Cloud. Cloud's feelings toward Meng Chi were very deep. Seeing her injured, her eyes immediately reddened, and a wild aura began to rise. Cloud. Don't do something stupid. If we use our full power, we'll interrupt Wan'er's inheritance. We have to persevere. Long Chen will definitely come to save us. Meng Chi immediately prevented Cloud from continuing. They had very little space here. If Cloud unleashed her true body, it would definitely disturb Tang Wan'er. Then all her progress would be ruined. Cloud was infuriated, but she obediently continued enduring with the four of them. She was very sullen. The feeling of having power but not being able to use it was very irritating. This Di Shen is a complete bastard. He's intentionally using this heavy water domain to exhaust our spiritual Yuan. He is able to replenish his energy from outside this domain, while we are unable to absorb any energy. If this continues, we'll eventually be completely exhausted, and he'll launch a thunderous strike when we have no energy to resist, said Lu Ruian to the other three. Chu Ya shook her head. We know that, but this opportunity is too important to Wan'er. Unless it reaches the point where we have no other choice, we can't give up. 
Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan'er were like sisters, and they all understood each other's hearts. Tang Wan'er was especially fierce and could never keep any secrets from them. Meng Qi and Chu Yao had long since noticed that ever since Tang Wan'er had entered the spirit world, she had started feeling inferior and frustrated. That was because Meng Qi had Cloud, and Chu Yao had Lu Ruyan. Both of them had incredible power now. Only Tang Wan'er was still standing in her original spot. Last time, in the Battle of the Grand Han, she had felt exceptionally ordinary. In that battle, whether it was Yu Zifeng, Guo Ran, or even Gu Yang, they had displayed terrifying combat power. Yu Zifeng especially had shown the power of the Sword Dao, sweeping away everything before him. Tang Wan'er had felt like she was becoming more and more ordinary. As women, Meng Qi and Chu Yao understood her the best. That was why this opportunity was one they refused to let Tang Wan'er miss out on. Otherwise, it might be a fatal blow to her. However, as time passed, their spiritual yuan continued to be exhausted without any means of replenishing it. They were quickly down to half their energy. We can't continue like this. We have to attack. Lu Ruyan shook her head. If they didn't fight back now, they wouldn't have a chance in the future. They would simply be captured helplessly. Meng Qi and Chu Yao exchanged a glance. They then looked at Tang Wan'er who was still in her meditative state. They were forced into a painful decision. We should attack. As long as we're living, we can always find more opportunities. Dead people don't get that chance, advised Lu Ruyan. However, Meng Qi and Chu Yao continued to struggle with this decision when they looked at Tang Wan'er. Although they had seen through Di Xin's plot, they couldn't do anything about it. Di Xin was standing outside the barrier. He smiled as he looked at their conflicted expressions. He sighed in admiration for Shen Bijin's methods. That woman was truly sinister. This entire idea had been Shen Bijin's. Now, he had caught the five of them without the slightest effort. However, just as his smile appeared, his expression changed and he hastily dodged to the side. As a result, a black saber mercilessly slashed through his shoulder, destroying one side of his body. Behind Di Xin was a black-robed man who looked like a devil god that had walked out of hell. After destroying half of Di Xin's body, he attacked again. Wild Qi waves shattered the palace. Long Chen, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Cloud, and Lu Ruyan let out a startled cry. Long Chen had finally come. Boom. Long Chen attacked Di Xin once more. Di Xin, who had recovered from his shock, took out a water thorn weapon that blocked Long Chen's saber. It was a powerful divine item, and huge ripples spread when they clashed, instantly blowing away Di Xin's heavy water domain. Di Xin was sent flying, and Long Chen shot after him, quickly catching up and attacking again. Divine Ring. Five Star Battle Armor. When Long Chen appeared in front of Di Xin this time, his divine ring shone with the five point star inside blazing with light. Di Xin's manifestation also appeared, and a vast sea could almost be seen within the primal chaos. Di Xin was a powerful expert with immense battle experience. Although Long Chen's sneak attack had caught him off guard, he still managed to instantly unleash his aura. He stabbed his water thorn forward. Heaven and Earth reverse. Stormy seas swallow the sky. Huge waves surged out of Di Xin's manifestation, and those seas superimposed over each other, devouring this space. Within those huge waves were countless water dragons that attacked Long Chen. Long Chen's saber fell, and those water dragons were blown apart, filling the sky with water droplets. The saber image continued forward, breaking through the waves. However, by the time it reached Di Xin, the majority of its power had been eroded by the huge waves. Di Xin's water thorn easily shattered it. Long Chen, I didn't expect you to still be alive. Di Xin surrounded the area in water, forming a new, giant heavy water domain. Long Chen was also within it. The fact that I'm still alive signifies that you will soon be dead. Long Chen's eyes were filled with killing intent. He definitely wouldn't allow anyone to bully his women, not even if they were a god. Ha ha ha, looks like Shen Bijin failed. Good, very good. I wanted to kill you personally from the start. For you to send yourself to me is truly great. Laughed Di Xin. No one has time to waste talking to you. Hand over your life. Long Chen pointed his saber at Di Xin. His aura was slowly condensing. 
he had abandoned all thoughts of holding back. Chapter 1653 The Wood Spirit Union Reappears Translator Born to be you're the one who will be handing over your life. Within my heavy water domain, I am the ruler. Your speed, your power, they will all sharply drop. What are you going to use to compete against me? If you hadn't been enveloped by my heavy water domain, perhaps you would have some chance to fight against me. But now, you've lost that qualification, sneered Dishin. Each drop of this water weighs half a ton. No one can fight against me within it. Dishin had spread his heavy water domain for thousands of miles, forming a giant globe that enveloped Long Chen, as well as Meng Chi and the others. This was an incredibly powerful magical art that Dishin had merged with his manifestation. He had absolute control over this space. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Cloud, and Lu Ruyan had profoundly experienced the power of this move. There was practically no way to resolve this magical art. It was almost perfect. Unless you could escape this domain, you would be at a disadvantage no matter how you fought. So Di Shen was fully confident after drawing Long Chen into his domain. Long Chen's expression was strangely calm as he looked at Di Shen. Even his previous fury and wildness had vanished, replaced with icy calm. That kind of coldness was frightening. Long Chen's divine ring started to slowly revolve, along with the five stars in his eyes. There were two states to the five-star battle armor. One state was calm while the other state was excited. In the calm state, his energy came at a steady pace. With his current spiritual yuan, he could maintain that state for an incense stick's worth of time. As for the excited state, it represented him at full firepower. It was like raising the dams. When unleashing all his power like that, he could only fight for ten breaths time. However, his power would instantly be raised to the peak. The divine ring spun faster and faster until it looked like it was still again, and a pillar of light soared out of Long Chen's body, blowing apart the clouds. The entire Jade Lake sacred land started to shake. With Long Chen at the center, the light spread until it formed its own domain that forced back the heavy water. How is that possible? Di Shen immediately sensed that Long Chen was no longer restricted by his domain. Long Chen shot forward. Slashing Dishin with his saber, he appeared in front of Dishin instantly. You're unaffected by my domain. Impossible, roared Dishin as he hastily blocked with his water thorn. Boom, both sides were blown back. Haha, <laughs> so what if you can create your own domain within my domain? Each drop of this water is the strongest magical water essence I've been condensing since childhood. I've long since merged my heavenly Tao energy into it. It can constantly absorb energy from the surroundings to replenish my energy, while you will only exhaust yourself within my heavy water domain, sneered Dishin after a moment's shock. Ten moves. I'll kill you within ten moves. Long Chen once more shot after Dishin. Dishin was infuriated. No one had ever dared to look down on him like this. His water thorn blazed with divine light. Long Chen, you're too arrogant. Let's just see if you can even receive three of my attacks. Water Dragon Roar. Di Xin's entire body began to shine. The water around him suddenly began to twist and turn. It condensed into many 30,000 meter water dragons that coiled together and charged at Long Chen. Split the Heavens 6. Long Chen directly unleashed the sixth form of Split the Heavens. His saber image tore through the heavy water domain. Boom. Di Xin's powerful attack was split in two. The huge saber image didn't pause at all as it continued toward Di Shin. What Di Shin was filled with disbelief. His attack had contained the power of millions and millions of runes, and its destructive power was astounding. However, it was like a watermelon in front of Long Chen's saber and was unable to block Long Chen's attack in the slightest. What he didn't know was that the sixth form was a turning point within the nine forms of Split the Heavens. It contained boundless profundities and was a law in and of itself. Split the heavens. Even the heavens could be split, let alone some magical art. In the first five forms, its power was focused on the saber image. However, in the sixth form, it depended on the will. Similar to the sword chi of sword cultivators, it was the will that drew the attack and the spirit that made it sharp. If you believed there was no obstacle that could stop it, then nothing could stop it. That was why the sixth form of Split the Heavens took so much energy and was also so powerful. Heavenly Spirit Water Shield. 
one shield to block the heavens. Dishin let out a furious roar. The huge heavy water domain around him vanished instantly, compressed into a 3,000 meter shield in front of him. This was Dishin's strongest defense, and he had to use his Waterthorn Divine Item to draw all his energy into one spot. This shield coupled hardness and softness, making it tough and incredibly difficult to break. At the very least, he had never encountered anyone who could break it. However, this incredibly powerful defense was like paper in front of the sixth form of Split the Heavens. The saber image pierced it and slashed onto Dizin's water thorn. With an explosive sound, the water thorn cracked and shattered. Dishin coughed up a mouthful of blood with a pained grunt. My cloud splitting water thorn. Dizin's eyes immediately turned red. This cloud splitting water thorn was a rare water attribute divine item. As a water attribute expert, he was perfectly suited to it and cherished it deeply. Although the water thorn was a divine item, it wasn't a powerful offensive divine item. Its material was made to store water essence and not clash directly. Thanks to Long Chen's full strength blow, its edge was broken, causing its power to sharply drop. That made his heart drip blood. Long Chen, I'll kill you, roared Di Xin. He suddenly stabbed his own heart with the cloud splitting water thorn. The previously translucent water thorn became scarlet. Dishin pulled it out of his heart and waved it through the air. His blood splattered, and huge blood dragons flew out of Dishin's manifestation. This aura is. Long Chen almost couldn't believe it. Correct. It's the aura of a true dragon. However, this aura is very weak. It shouldn't be an inheritance involving true dragon essence blood but some kind of aura contamination. Although he's using a magical art to forcibly use that aura to take the form of the true dragon. Don't get cocky. Those blood dragons might be made of runes, but they seem to have merged with his blood. Their power is extremely great. Warned Evil Moon. The first blood dragon charged at Long Chen. Its sharp claw the size of a mountain as it smashed down at him. When Long Chen slashed his saber onto it, he forced it back. However, he also felt his blood flipping inside him. Long Chen, now do you know my power? Di Xin was clenching his teeth furiously as if he wanted to bite Long Chen to death. Each of these blood dragons has power comparable to an Empyrean. As for you, your aura is currently dropping. Let's see what you will use to fight me. He was spent. After unleashing the sixth form of Split the Heavens, Long Chen's aura had started to drop quickly. He had used up even more energy than last time. Although he had recovered a bit of energy on his way here, this attack had made him run out of spiritual yuan. What will I use to fight you? I still have plenty of trump cards. Long Chen smiled. At the same time, the distant Chu Yao also smiled. She knew what Long Chen wanted to do. She closed her eyes and formed a hand seal. Three flower petals suddenly appeared behind Long Chen. When they appeared, Long Chen's originally dropping aura instantly rose explosively. Split the heavens 6. Long Chen unleashed another huge saber image. How is this possible? Di Xin roared furiously. Long Chen's aura had clearly been dropping. How could it suddenly recover to its peak in an instant? However, he had to accept this cruel reality as he felt Long Chen's attack lock him down. He was powerless to flee. The most shameless thing about this attack was that it cut through any magical arts. Just how was Di Xin supposed to block it? Di Xin was unwilling to use his water thorn to block it again, afraid that it would explode if it was struck once more. However, it had to be said that this genius from the central Xuan regions was truly a rich silk prince. He waved his hand, summoning two divine items. One was an ancient turtle shell covered in divine runes, while another was a piece of armor sparkling with golden light. Although these two divine items were just quasi-divine items, they instantly grew larger and formed a sturdy defense in front of him. Two explosive sounds rang out as those two quasi-divine items were blown to bits by Long Chen's attack. In front of him, even quasi-divine items weren't enough. One reason was that those two quasi-divine items were not Di Xin's main divine item, and he didn't constantly nourish them with his soul, meaning the power they could unleash was limited. Furthermore, they had slave seals on them to limit their own power resulting in them being destroyed in an instant. The huge saber image only paused slightly in front of those two quasi-divine items before continuing toward Di Xin. 
Di Shen was infuriated and had no choice but to raise his water thorn to block. However, just as he was about to sacrifice his main divine item, the sound of a zither exploded into existence. An ancient zither appeared in front of Di Shen, and divine light circulated to block Long Chen's attack. Chapter 1654 No need to hold back any longer translator. Born to be boom. Divine light exploded into the sky. Three figures were sent flying at the same time. Shen Bijin had appeared, using the seven string C suppressing zither to help Di Shen block Long Chen's attack. Again, split the heavens six. Long Chen laughed and slashed Devil Moon once more. Powerful astral winds erupted away from him. This is completely impossible. Di Shen roared. Such a terrifying attack was something a normal person could only unleash once before being exhausted. However, it was like it wasn't costing Long Chen to unleash the sixth form of Split the Heavens. This was already his third time. Long Chen couldn't help sighing emotionally. Wood cultivators truly had the greatest spiritual yuan reserves amongst all cultivators. Chu Yao's spiritual yuan had been half exhausted due to resisting Di Xin's heavy water domain before. However, she still had enough for Long Chen to continuously use the sixth form of Split the Heavens. Don't be afraid. That energy is just borrowed. After one more attack, he'll be out of energy, said Shen Bijin. She slammed both hands on the seven string C suppressing zither, swinging it at Long Chen just like that. Di Shen didn't tarry, and his water thorn blazed with light as he used it to block Long Chen's terrifying attack with Shen Bijin. Boom. Di Shen and Shen Bijin were working together to block it, but they were still sent flying. Both of them wildly coughed up blood. I don't have enough spiritual yuan to attack again, sighed Long Chen. Chu Yao didn't have enough spiritual yuan to unleash the sixth form of Split the Heavens again, or he'd have definitely chased after them and attacked. Long Chen's heart suddenly shook, and he hastily cut off the wood spirit union. Chu Yao, watch out. Shen Bijin was rushing toward Meng Qi and the others. She had clearly seen through some clues and wanted to sever Long Chen's energy store. Waves of divine light came from the seven string C suppressing zither. Die slots. You're the slot. How do you even have the face to live? Lu Ruian immediately summoned her true body, becoming a giant undying willow. Countless tree branches shot toward Shen Bijin. However, Shen Bijin was holding the seven string C suppressing zither. It had its own terrifying origin, and Lu Ruian's branches were all blown to bits. Endless falling wood. Countless wooden stakes shot out of the ground, whistling toward Shen Bijin like spears. At the same time, a bird cry rang out as Cloud took her true form as well. Her runes lit up all around her body as she attacked. Only Meng Chi stayed behind to protect Tang Wan'er in case anyone wanted to launch a sneak attack. Having more people is useless. Trash bunched together is just a bigger pile of trash. Have a taste of my pentatonic slaughter arts. The waves of divine light coming from Shen Bijin's zither transformed into thousands of sharp blades that shot toward Chu Yao, Cloud, and Lu Ruian. Each time Shen Bijin plucked a string, a sharp blade would shoot out. Even Cloud's wings were unable to block them. Each time she was struck, she would be injured. However, amongst the three of them, Lu Ruian was vanguard. With her undying body, she received the majority of Lu Ruian's attacks herself. Although her branches were constantly destroyed, more constantly grew. She was unafraid of this kind of injury. Lu Ruian was the main attacker, with Chu Yao and Cloud looking for opportunities to launch their own attacks. Even though Shen Bijin possessed the seven string C suppressing zither, she was unable to do anything to the three of them. As they fought, Long Chen also continued fighting against Di Xin. However, without Chu Yao's wood spirit union, Long Chen could only rely on his depleted spiritual yuan. Long Chen, now let's see how you reverse the tides. Di Xin's expression was twisted, and he summoned his heavy water domain once more. As for Long Chen, the five stars in his eyes dimmed, and he put away the five star battle armor. The divine ring continued to spin behind him to fight against Di Xin's domain. With just the divine ring powering him, Long Chen could save energy while fighting. However, within this heavy water domain, he was only able to create 30 meter space for himself. His speed and power were all affected. Then I'll let you see it. Long Chen smiled. He might be out of energy, 
but Dishan was definitely not in better condition. If it weren't for the fact that water cultivators also had deep reserves of spiritual yuan second only to wood cultivators, Dishan would have already died. However, Long Chen was still at a disadvantage. He was rejected by the heavenly deos and couldn't absorb their energy to recover. He could only slowly extract energy from his 108,000 stars to recover. Unfortunately, this recovery speed was a far cry from an Empyrean's. When they had their manifestations activated, they recovered energy so fast, that if it wasn't an extremely intense fight, they could maintain a constant energy level. Despite the faster recovery of Empyrean's, Dishin definitely didn't have more spiritual Yuan left in him. If it hadn't been for Shen Bijin, he'd have long since died. HMPH, within my domain, you can't recover. I can easily exhaust you to death, sneered Dishin. His heavy water domain isolated heavenly Tao energy, and it was the skill he was most confident in. No matter how strong someone was, in his heavy water domain, they would become his prey. No one could escape. Then let's see who runs out of energy first, said Long Chen disdainfully. Long Chen was in the core of the heavy water domain. From a distance, it looked like a giant ball of water, with Long Chen and Di Shen staring at each other from a distance. You want to stall for time to recover your physical energy? Keep dreaming. There's no hope for you within my domain. Suddenly, countless water dragons sprang into existence and shot toward Long Chen, roaring angrily. Long Chen destroyed them with a slash of his saber. These water dragons weren't that powerful, but he couldn't ignore them. He couldn't let them get close. Di Shen was clearly using them to exhaust his precious physical energy so that he couldn't recover. As for Di Shen, he could use the heavy water domain to rapidly recover. Unfortunately for Di Shen, Long Chen wasn't using any spiritual yuan to kill these water dragons. He could destroy them with his physical strength alone. His 108,000 stars were circulating rapidly. Long Chen was recovering slowly. In the distance, Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, and Cloud were fighting Shen Bijin intensely. The three of them had the numbers advantage. While Shen Bijin had the advantage of a powerful divine item, it was difficult to determine a winner. However, fighting evenly was still good. The main thing was that the three of them had exhausted the majority of their spiritual yuan or even if they couldn't kill Shen Bijin, they would be beating her heavily. This fight caused the entire Jade Lake sacred land to shake. The experts participating in the Jade Lake pageant were all hiding in the distance, staring in shock at this world-shaking battle. They didn't even dare to come out, afraid that they would be killed by the slightest shockwave. Only Empyreans would dare to slip a bit closer. Getting to see such an intense fight was a rare opportunity. Shen Bijin tried to break past Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, and Cloud's blockade to attack Tang Wan'er several times without succeeding. She suddenly retreated, and her zither music transformed. It instantly became impassioned, causing people's blood to boil. Chu Yao and the others didn't quite understand what she was doing, but they were on guard against whatever move she was preparing. Long Chen, you slaughtered countless innocents in the Jade Lake Sacred Land. Do you think this place is your eastern Xuan region? Those experts of the southern Xuan region suddenly began to roar furiously after the zither music changed. Do you think the southern Xuan region's people are easy to bully? The southern Xuan region isn't somewhere you can run wild in. You're courting death. Since you're so arrogant, viewing other people's lives as nothing more than blades of grass. Don't blame us for taking advantage of your situation to strike your people. The southern Xuan region's experts suddenly charged toward Chu Yao and the other's battlefield. However, what startled them was that they weren't coming for Chu Yao. No, they were going for Tang Wan'er instead. It would be best if you didn't come, or don't blame me for being vicious, warned Meng Chi. Damn women, just die. None of you is a good person since you're with Long Chen. You can all die. Meng Qi's warning didn't stop them. Instead, it seemed to fan the flames of fury in them, and they all raised their weapons. The soul is drawn into a dream. The sea of blood is born. When those experts were about to enter the range of launching effective attacks, Meng Chi sighed and formed a hand seal. A spiritual ripple spread from her. Those experts, who seemed to have gone insane, didn't even see Meng Qi's attack. They charged forward regardless of the danger. As a result, 
When they entered Meng Qi's attack range, they all collapsed. Shen Bijin, you despicable bitch. Meng Qi's expression changed. She looked up at Shen Bijin who was in the sky. This was her first time cursing someone like this. When those people had charged into her domain and their souls had been extinguished, she found that their souls were being controlled. It was clearly done by Shen Bijin. Once those people collapsed, Shen Bijin's zither music changed again, becoming mournful but heroic, bringing forth the image of brave warriors who would never return from the battlefield. The experts that were still clear-headed felt their heads buzzing, when they saw their fellow southern Xuan region experts collapsing. When the music changed, their heads became blank, their eyes turned red, even Empyreans were affected. Kill. Kill Long Chen. Kill his people. Empyreans summoned their manifestations one by one and charged forward. The other experts followed like bloodthirsty beasts. They were like a tide crashing over Meng Chi. Ha ha ha. Long Chen. You are nothing in front of me. This is the price for humiliating me. I'll let you personally see your wives die in front of you one by one. Ha ha ha. Shen Bijin laughed maniacally. Despicable. Cursed Chu Yao. She and the others were about to go assist Meng Chi when they were stopped by Shen Bijin. Shen Bijin unleashed her full power and the power of the seven string C suppressing zither, blocking their path. Meng Chi unleashed her soul arts. Those experts fell one by one their souls extinguished. However, the Empyreans with powerful Yuan spirits managed to resist her soul arts. Die. Three Empyreans surrounded Meng Chi, while two others went to attack the motionless Tang Wan Er. Boom. Just as the two of them were about to reach her, a golden furnace appeared above Tang Wan Er's head, unleashing a light barrier that protected her. Sorry, I'm late. The pill fairy was standing above the golden furnace looking at the distant Long Chen apologetically. It's not late. It's just right. Since you've come, I no longer need to hold back. A faint smile appeared on Long Chen's face. Chapter 1655 Yuan Spirit comes out to fight translator. Born to be the pill fairy's arrival immediately revitalized Long Chen. He had been waiting for just this moment. The pill fairy's day-night furnace unleashed a bright barrier that enveloped Tang Wan Er. And even if those experts from the southern Xuan region unleashed all their power, they wouldn't be able to break that defense. Yu Kingsuan, are you trying to join hands with the homicidal demon king? Have you thought about your position? Raged Shen Bijin. For a human to be shameless to this extent, my eyes have truly been opened to the world. Although I've never seen Fairy Zi Yan, I know that your character is a million miles from hers. The pill fairy coldly looked at Shen Bijin. She had never looked down on someone as much as she did Shen Bijin. Even at this time, Shen Bijin could manage to criticize the Pill Fairy's morality. HMPH. So the Pill Fairy is completely unreasonable and can only resort to personal attacks. All of Pill Valley's face has been lost by you. Since you refuse to see the difference between right and wrong, don't blame the heroes of the Southern Xuan region for being forced to stop you, shouted Shen Bijin. Kill. The southern Xuan region's experts didn't stop because of the pill fairy's arrival. Instead, they crazily unleashed their strongest attacks at her. Tens of thousands of attacks struck the defenses of the day-night furnace, which was constantly shuddering, infuriating the pill fairy. There were dozens of Empyreans amongst the attackers. Since she could only defend and not strike back, she wouldn't be able to last long. Shen Bijin, you're actually controlling them, raged the pill fairy. She had seen through some clues. These experts had gone insane. Their current condition was completely out of the ordinary. Pill Fairy, please don't slander others. It's clearly your actions to protect Long Chen that have provoked the Southern Xuan region's experts. You've provoked everyone's anger, which is the only reason why they're attacking you, replied Shen Bijin coldly. Boom. The Pill Fairy was startled as a powerful attack landed on the day-night furnace. It was a woman holding a divine sword. Han Fifi, wake up. The attacker was Han Fifi, but she didn't react to the pill fairy's words. She continued attacking the day-night furnace with her divine item. It wasn't just Han Fifi. The other Empyreans were also crazily attacking with their divine items. Facing so many attacks, the pill fairy finally coughed up a mouthful of blood. Starfall, just as the pill fairy was starting to panic. 
hesitating over whether or not she should strike back. A blazing flame sphere shot down from the sky, exploding over the battlefield. It was like a star had exploded, and a wave of fire devoured this world. Those southern Xuan region experts had no time to dodge. They were all devoured by the flames. Long Chen, Shen Bijin was completely shocked. She looked up to see Long Chen in the sky, surrounded by divine light. No, that's not Long Chen. It's his Yuan spirit. Shen Bijin grew even more shocked. In the distance, Long Chen's true body was still fighting Di Shen in his heavy water domain. This figure had to be Long Chen's Yuan spirit. It had left his main body to fight alone. His Yuan spirit was looking down on the ground that had been completely destroyed by his star fall. Those southern Xuan region experts were annihilated. Only the Empyreans with divine items protecting them managed to live. Those who survived felt like they had been startled awake out of a dream. They were shocked and infuriated. They had gone from a dream to a nightmare. What's going on? roared an Empyrean. Just at that moment, more zither music rang out this time sounding like the wails of departed spirits demanding vengeance. Resentment filled the air. Ahh those Empyreans let out pained roars, and their eyes turned scarlet once more. Their faces twisted into vicious expressions. Shen Bijin, you really are vicious. How dare you use the ghost controlling devil music against them? Have you gone mad? Shouted the pill fairy from the distance as she recognized this music. Although the pill fairy had never heard the true ghost controlling devil music, she recognized it from how Shen Bijin had gathered all the souls of the experts that had just died, using their leftover resentment and hatred to force the surviving Empyreans into listening to her orders. Shen Bijin ignored the pill fairy. Her expression was absolutely vicious. She had reached the end of the line and now staked everything on this last gamble. Her mission was to kill Long Chen. That was the only way she would be able to become the successor of the elusive music immortal palace. Once he was slain, as long as she pushed all the responsibility onto Long Chen, no one would dare to offend the elusive music immortal palace, one of the protectors of the continent, for a dead person. However, the precondition for that was Long Chen's death. Otherwise, even if she escaped, there would be nowhere for her on the martial heaven continent. Shen Bijin was gloomy. She had never dreamed that her meticulous plan would fail. Long Chen's Yuan spirit had actually come to fight alone. Originally, she had thought that as long as she killed Meng Qi and the others, that would rattle his heart and allow her to join hands with Di Shen to kill him. However, she hadn't expected the pill fairy to rush over in time. Like this, Long Chen's fatal weak point was covered up. He no longer had to have any misjivings and began showing his hidden trump cards. The thing that shocked Shen Bijin the most was that the aura of Long Chen's Yuan spirit was even more terrifying than the aura of his true body. Kill him, Shen Bijin shouted at the Empyreans, and they immediately charged at Long Chen's Yuan spirit. Double dragon destruction a golden flame dragon and a five-colored lightning dragon shot out of Long Chen's arms, intertwining and charging through the midst of the Empyreans. The two dragons devoured the Empyreans and then exploded filling the world with lightning and fire. The world turned dark and countless cracks appeared in space as if this world would break apart. Those Empyreans were instantly slain by the powerful lightning and flame. Not one managed to escape. Not even a single Yuan spirit. Although the double dragon destruction's power had greatly increased after Lai Long had absorbed his lightning tribulation, its power wasn't actually enough to instantly kill dozens of Empyreans. It was simply that these Empyreans had their minds controlled by Shen Bijin's zither music. Their movements were naturally simpler than usual. They only knew how to kill, not to defend or run. Shen Bijin was finally a bit afraid. Just as she was about to use the seven-string C suppressing zither to run, Long Chen suddenly appeared in front of her. Do you really think I didn't know that Zi Yan held back last time? She held back, and I held back as well. Maybe you don't believe me, so I'll let you see my true trump card. Long Chen suddenly opened his mouth, and a bolt of white lightning shot out at Shen Bijin. When that white bolt of lightning appeared, the entire world dimmed. A destructive aura that could cause gods to shudder filled the air. Shen Bijin was filled with terror toward this bolt of lightning. She found that she couldn't move. Even the seven-string C suppressing zither was shuddering. 
Shen Bijin instinctively blocked the white lightning with the seven string C suppressing zither. As a result, it was sent flying by the white lightning. Half of Shen Bijin's body exploded, and she used her last shred of energy to run. However, just at that moment, a hand caught her throat. Long Chen, don't kill me. I can be your slave. I, I can let you put a slave mark on me. Long Chen didn't give her any chance to keep going. He pointed a finger, and Shen Bijin's head exploded. However, at that moment, a sharp dagger stabbed toward Long Chen's head as quick as lightning. This was the counterattack of Shen Bijin's Yuan spirit just as her physical body exploded. That dagger contained all the power of her Yuan spirit. As long as it stabbed Long Chen's head, his Yuan spirit would definitely die. The death of a Yuan spirit was fatal. This happened suddenly. So suddenly that before Long Chen could even react, the dagger stabbed Long Chen's head. Shen Bijin barely had a chance to smile before her expression froze. She found that her dagger was like wood trying to stab into iron. It wasn't able to injure Long Chen in the slightest. She was dumbfounded. She had never heard of anyone whose Yuan spirit could be condensed to the point that it could ignore attacks like this. Long Chen, if you kill me, the deaths of all the experts of the southern Xuan region will be placed on you. However, if you don't kill me, I'll tell everyone what happened and make you innocent. Shen Bijin was truly a ruthless character to still be able to calm down at such a time. I've never managed to be innocent in this world, nor do I care about my innocence. Sorry, your conditions don't interest me. Go regret in hell. Long Chen pointed at Shen Bijin's Yuan spirit. No, Shen Bijin's voice before death was full of unwillingness. However, whether or not she was willing, her Yuan spirit shattered and disappeared from this world. Shen Bijin had just been killed when the seven string C suppressing zither tore through the void and vanished. It fled. It had just disappeared when Lai Long appeared and angrily wrapped around Long Chen's head. Chapter 1656 Life Devouring Silverfish Translator Born to be Lai Long, don't make a fuss. Long Chen pulled off Lai Long, not letting it mess around. He knew that Lai Long was angry that he had unleashed the divine lightning in its stomach to send the seven string sea suppressing zither flying and defeat Shen Bijin. Long Chen might be refreshed at unleashing that trump card, but Lai Long was very dissatisfied. That divine light was his food. Recently, it had become capable of directly absorbing that energy and had been growing stronger day by day. Long Chen had used its food to attack. That aggrieved Lai Long. So it wrapped around Long Chen to express its anger. All right, all right. I just used a third of it. So you still have plenty of food. I guarantee I won't touch the rest of it, promised Long Chen. Only then did Lai Long stop fussing and return to Long Chen's body. Long Chen's Yuan spirit returned to his main body. However, he didn't merge back with it but instead charged into Di Xin's heavy water domain and launched a punch at him. Di Xin stabbed his water thorn onto Long Chen's fist only to get knocked back. Shocked. How can your Yuan spirit be so powerful? Roared Di Xin furiously as he coughed up a mouthful of blood. There were cases of spirit transformation experts sending out their Yuan spirit to fight. But he had never heard of someone's Yuan spirit being able to fight against a divine item barehanded. Normally, Yuan spirits were only able to assist the main body and form some hand seals for magical arts. In truth, the Yuan spirit was a final trump card, usually only used when the physical body was destroyed. Even if a Yuan spirit was extremely powerful, it was also a fatal weakness. Normally, if a Yuan spirit were to launch an attack, it would be very vulnerable to a divine item or a magical art specialized against spiritual bodies. However, Long Chen's Yuan spirit could actually fight barehanded against his divine item. Di Xin felt like he was going crazy. The most terrifying thing was that when Long Chen was splitting his attention to control his Yuan spirit and main body to fight, his Yuan spirit's aura was even the stronger of the two. Di Xin had never fought such an opponent. Don't ask stupid questions. Shen Bijin was a fool who simply thought herself smart. The first time she tried to kill me was in the Skywood Divine Palace. She drew me into a mental realm. I intentionally held back and had Cloud's Yuan spirit enter with me to attack her. The information she gave you about me didn't say anything about my Yuan spirit. Did it? That's because she thought my Yuan spirit wasn't anything special and was nothing to be worried about. 
In truth, I had already started laying the trap down at that time, acting like I couldn't do anything myself when drawn into the seven string sea suppressing Zither's mental domain. In truth, I was just waiting for her to draw me into that realm again so I could kill her in one blow when she was overconfident. Unfortunately, things didn't go my way. I waited a long time, but she never drew me in. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had to go through so much trouble and borrow Chu Yao's energy to exhaust Shen Bijin's spiritual strength and her Yuan spirit so that she wouldn't have the energy to run. I ended up plotting so much for nothing and even had to use the divine lightning I worked so hard to get. Long Chen shook his head. This was the most depressing thing to him. He had intentionally left himself open several times in hopes of Shen Bijin sneak attacking him that way. With her previous experience, she would definitely be overconfident in her mental realm. Long Chen thought he had a high chance of killing her in one shot in there. Regretfully, that plan didn't work out, and he had been forced to use up a portion of his divine lightning, making Lai Long grumble. Long Chen truly detested Shen Bijin. However, he was also afraid of this crazy woman who would use any means necessary to kill him. She was like a wild dog, impossible to defend against. Being targeted by such a woman had made it so he couldn't rest easy, which was why he had chosen to kill her first. The pill fairy stood on top of the Danite furnace in the distance, listening to Long Chen talk. A strange feeling rose in her heart. Long Chen wasn't as impetuous as he appeared. His plotting was also frighteningly deep. Shen Bijin had schemed so deeply, setting up multiple plans with multiple layers but had still died to Long Chen's scheming. That gave her a chill. What profound scheming. That way, you can push all the responsibility onto Shen Bijin, said Di Xin. He was surprisingly calm. That's where you're wrong. I disdain to have to explain myself, and I never push away my responsibility. My motto has always been that if others don't offend me, I won't offend them. If others do offend me, I'll endure a bit, and if they offend me again, I'll pull them out by the roots. So when you're rude to me, mock me. Turn your nose up at me, I can't be bothered to deal with you, but when you raise your blade against me, that's not offending me, that's trying to kill me, so you become my real enemies. I'm never lenient toward my enemies, said Long Chen coldly. Right now, the Jade Lake sacred land had been turned into ruins, and of the tens of thousands of people that had entered, only the Pill Fairy, Tang Wanur, Chu Yao, Meng Qi, Cloud, Lu Ruian, Long Chen, and Di Xin remained. His voice echoed over the ruins. Ha ha ha. Di Xin suddenly raised his head and laughed. Long Chen, I admit you're very powerful. You and Shen Bijin are both very crafty. I admit I'm not on the same level as you when it comes to scheming. However, if you really think that you're in control now, you're gravely mistaken. In front of absolute power, all schemes are useless now you're using my line, said Long Chen indifferently. That line did often come from his mouth. Now that it came from Di Xin's, it sounded strange to him. Di Xin's lips curled. Long Chen, I really hate you. I hate you for the way you speak. I hate you for having so many women that like you. I hate you for thinking yourself infallible. I really want you dead. You hate me so much? Well, I only hate you for one thing. I hate you for being an arrogant idiot with an unchanging poser act. People like you think that as soon as you're born, you're a supreme existence that others must revere and worship. If someone doesn't worship you, it's disrespectful and blasphemy. So it depends on your mood whether to torment them or even take their lives. As for this unchanging poser act with absolutely no skill, that's even more detestable. I feel like it should be you who dies instead, said Long Chen tranquilly. He had seen many people from the eastern wasteland to the central plains that were just like this. He didn't know where these people's superiority complex came from. Were their parents and elders all fools to raise such arrogant people? They were like pigs. So what if you raised them up to be bigger? Was it so they could cook them into a delicious meal eventually? He really couldn't figure out the point of these people. Did being a poser all day show their brilliance? Are you jealous? Ha ha ha. Di Xin laughed delightedly. The strong are respected, while the weak can only be slaves to the strong. That's the only way for them to survive. What's wrong with that? I, Di Xin, have an illustrious status, as well as an exceptional talent, 
As for my looks, I'm miles ahead of you. What qualifications do you have to compare to me? You could kill Shen Bijin because you have information that can be used against her. But do you dare to kill me? If you kill me, let alone you and your wives, even your sect and families will be eradicated to the last. Do you dare? Long Chen looked at Di Xin with a hint of hesitation. In truth, I can't confirm if I dare to or not. How about you show me your neck and let's test that theory right now, you. Di Xin almost choked. He roared. Do you think I'm as stupid as you? I'm telling you, you don't have the power to kill me. In fact, you'll all die here at my hands. The only reason I'm telling you this much is so that you'll understand just how foolish you are. Di Xin suddenly formed a hand seal. His heavy water domain began to boil as a huge mass of figures appeared. Those figures were silver fish. Each of them was fist-sized, but their head took up two-thirds of their body. Their mouths were lined with sharp teeth. There were tens of thousands of these strange fish. They rapidly swam forward like a bolt of silver lightning at Long Chen. Long Chen's true body slashed its saber. However, his power was impacted by the heavy water domain, and his saber image only caused a metallic ringing sound when it struck the silver fish. They were completely unharmed. One of them shot toward him and immediately bit down on his arm. Long Chen felt a burst of pain. His skin was as tough as an ancestral item but was still penetrated by these teeth. His arm began to bleed. Ha ha ha. These are life-devouring silverfish. They're a mutant species whose bodies are stronger than metal. Furthermore, they are immune to lightning. So don't even think of using your thunder force against them. They eat precious ores to grow, making their teeth even sharper than ancestral items. These life-devouring silverfish are something my family raised off the embryo of a dead life-devouring silverfish. They spent endless time and money on them, including now. I've only used them three times. The two previous times were when I encountered enemies even stronger than you, but they were still devoured by the life-devouring silverfish. As for you, you'll be the third. I want to personally see you be torn apart along with your Yuan spirit. Ha ha ha. Magical water devours the heavens. Di Xin laughed and his manifestation vanished. His heavy water domain was enveloped by seven consecutive waves of divine light. He was clearly concentrating all his power on strengthening the binding of the heavy water domain so that Long Chen couldn't escape. Idiot. If it weren't for Shen Bijin, you'd have long since died. Long Chen was indifferent to Di Xin's actions. He was also indifferent to these life-devouring silverfish. His Yuan spirit merged back with his true body. He waved his hand, and a black sphere of water appeared in his head. Terrifying Nether Chi Spread Chapter 1657 Dizin's Nine Line Soul Calming Jade Translator Born to be the black globe of water wasn't particularly large. It was only three meters wide. However, it was pitch black and filled with an aura of death. Explode Long Chen let out a quiet order, and the black globe exploded. In that instant, Long Chen covered himself in black soil. It was like a ball of ink had exploded. Di Xin's heavy water domain was completely contaminated. An insignificant trick. My water is no ordinary water. But what Di Xin was in the midst of mocking Long Chen's actions when his expression completely changed. He was shocked to find that his heavy water domain was unable to block the contamination of the black water. The life-devouring silverfish immediately rotted on contact with the slightest bit of the black water. They turned into black liquid. Meng Chi and the others were only able to see a black ball explode in the middle of the heavy water domain and rapidly spread. Bastard, what is this? Roared Di Xin. His Yuan spirit appeared, hastily forming hand seals. Thanks to Di Xin's efforts, the black water was quickly isolated into an area several miles wide. At the same time, he ordered the surviving life-devouring silverfish to leave that region. They were incredibly precious mutated beasts but they had almost been wiped out just now in the blink of an eye. His family had spent endless effort to raise them. Within his water domain, their killing power was even more terrifying than a divine item. Di Xin had used them to kill two experts who had been even stronger than him. However, just now, his carelessness had cost him over half of them. He clenched his teeth so hard that they almost bled. Aya, not bad. You have some skills. Here, have some more. Work hard. I look favorably upon you. 
Long Chen's body that was encased in the black soil armor charged out of the black water. He waved his hand, and another globe of water exploded. This one was ten times greater than the last one. It spread quickly, overtaking the surviving life-devouring silverfish. Long Chen. Pfft. Seeing those life-devouring silverfish that his family had spent dozens of generations to raise all being annihilated. Di Xin coughed up a mouthful of blood. Long Chen. I'll tear you to pieces. Although his family still had some young life-devouring silverfish, it took a huge amount of resources for them to fully mature, as well as a lot of time. He had essentially lost this family trump card for decades or even centuries. Di Xin's whole body was shuddering, and a miniature version of him appeared outside his head. That was his Yuan spirit. It rapidly formed hand seals along with him, and his manifestation grew in power. However, Halfway through his seals, his expression suddenly changed. How? How is this possible? Di Xin let out a wild roar. He now noticed that at some point, his hands had started turning black. It was like there was ink flowing in his blood. The pill fairy, Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Cloud, and Lu Ruian all looked at him in shock. Di Xin's whole body was turning black now. Upon looking at the black water that Long Chen had unleashed, it was clearly related. However, Di Xin hadn't touched the black water. How had it spread to his body? Long Chen's black water is really terrifying. It was able to affect Di Xin's Yuan spirit through his soul and then spread its poison into his body, exclaimed Meng Chi. Her soul arts allowed her to discover some clues. This heavy water domain was composed of Di Xin's core energy and core water. It was deeply connected to his soul. The black water was actually able to transmit its toxicity through the water to Di Xin's body without him even realizing it. Amongst everyone here, Long Chen was the calmest. Everything was within his expectations. What kind of joke was that? This black water was the death spirit water from the netherworld. It could annihilate anything. Even Long Chen didn't dare to touch it. He had to use the primal chaos space's black soil in order to block the black water, or it would kill him as well. As soon as Long Chen had learned that Di Xin was a water attribute expert, he had stopped caring about him as a threat. His entire plan's focus had been to make sure he could kill Shen Bijin. He knew that the death spirit water was Di Xin's bane. Seeing the terrified Di Xin who was rapidly turning black, Long Chen gravely said, Sir, your complexion is turning dark and gloomy. That's not a good omen. Perhaps you're about to meet a violent death. It would be better for you to die at my hand so you can escape that miserable fate. Di Xin let out a roar, and his heavy water domain exploded. The black water sprayed in every direction, including toward Meng Chi and the others. Chu Yao formed hand seals, and layers of wooden walls appeared, forming a giant umbrella to block the black water. Her wooden stakes melted like snow being rained upon. They rapidly corroded and fell to the ground. Meng Chi and the others were shocked. This black water was too terrifying, wasn't it? It had been diluted by the heavy water domain but still possessed such power. Oh, not bad. You cut off your heavy water domain so that the death aura couldn't continue infecting you. But without your heavy water domain, how will you fight against me? Long Chen shot after Di Xin with Evil Moon in hand. Long Chen, you bastard. I'll make you pay the price for your audacity roared Di Xin. His heavy water was extremely precious. He had spent years to completely transform it to this level. Each drop was branded with his spiritual mark, which was what allowed him to perfectly control it. However, now, he had been forced to sever his connection to it. He had lost his life-devouring silverfish and his heavy water domain. Those were what he relied on the most. He was now like a tiger that had lost its fangs and claws. Seeing Long Chen's saber coming. Di Xin suddenly took out a jade plate that had nine divine marks on it. It was a nine-line soul calming jade. It was also violet. However, its violet color wasn't as deep as Long Chen's jade. When Long Chen saw that, his pupils shrank. Perhaps he would be able to find a clue about his origins from Di Xin. Di Xin crushed the nine-line soul calming jade. Divine light exploded from it, enveloping him inside it. Long Chen's saber slashed onto the light and was unable to go any further. He was knocked back. So the nine line soul calming jade is to be used like this. Although Long Chen's blood was flipping inside him from the impact, he was staring intently. The light had formed a huge ball protecting Di Xin. 
Who dares to harm my? De Long's descendant. Suddenly, a furious row rang out. A runic hand reached out to grab a tottering Dishan into the void. After pulling Dishan away, the hand reappeared, this time slamming toward Long Chen. A majestic aura crashed down on Long Chen. The ground around him crumbled even before it landed. Long Chen did his best to unleash a powerful saber image at the hand. However, his attack shattered on contact without slowing it down in the slightest. Golden light exploded as the Daynite furnace shot over, smashing into the hand. The Daynite furnace was sent flying into the distance, and it left behind an endless ditch on the Jade Lake sacred land. Long Chen, watch out. It's a nether passage expert, shouted the pill fairy. HMPH, Pill Valley's little girl. If it weren't for my slight relationship with your father, your current offense would be worth me killing you. A voice rang out from the void, shaking their eardrums. The hand that had brushed off the Daynite furnace once more shot toward Long Chen. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Cloud, and Lu Ruian rushed over. Stop, don't come, it'll kill you as well, shouted Long Chen. Long Chen was finally experiencing the terror of a nether passage expert. In front of this kind of absolute power, Meng Chi and the others would just be sending themselves to their deaths. However, Meng Chi and the others didn't seem to hear, and they rushed over regardless, unleashing all their power to help Long Chen receive the attack of this nether passage expert. From Meng Chi and Chu Yao's eyes, Long Chen saw that they had made their determination to go through life and death with him. Long Chen took a deep breath. A thick tarp appeared in his hand. Within that tarp was a black nail. Fuck. If you want to kill me, then have a taste of the nail of the gates of hell. Long Chen threw caution to the wind. At this time, even if Evil Moon were to use its power, it wouldn't be able to block a nether passage expert considering Long Chen's power. He could only place his hopes on the nail. Just as Long Chen was about to shoot the nail out, a figure appeared in front of them. Long Chen felt space twist, and he appeared a thousand miles away. Wan'er, Long Chen hadn't expected Tang Wan'er to awaken at this time. She had used some kind of unknown magical art to practically teleport them away. Boom. The huge hand crashed down on the ground, and the ground exploded. In that instant, a golden light flew out of the ground and smashed into the hole in space in the air. The Nether Passage expert let out a startled cry as his hand was blown to bits by the golden light. The hole in space closed as if it had never existed. Is this Earth inheritance? Chu Yao looked at a strange golden light still floating in the air. Chapter 1658 The Essence of Earth Translator Born to be there was a golden triangular object about 30 meters long. It looked like a dark gold piece of iron, and shocking fluctuations were coming from it. It was what had broken De Long's hand and the spatial formation, forcing him away. This strange object was floating in the air, waves of divine pressure coming from it. It was like the world was trembling because of its existence. The world's innate elemental structure is based on earth, water, fire, and air, with earth coming first. It is the first element used to stabilize the world. It should be the core of the Jade Lake sacred land, said Chu Yao. None of us are earth elemental cultivators. We probably won't be able to take it, said Tang Wan'er. The current Tang Wan'er had absorbed the wind essence. Although she hadn't fully refined it yet, she had comprehended the essence of it. That was the comprehension the Jade Lake Venerate had had toward wind energy. It had greatly benefited Tang Wan'er. Her inheritance was something countless people would go crazy for. Otherwise... Tang Wan'er wouldn't have been able to use wind energy in that crisis just now to escape the lock of the huge hand and bring everyone away. I might be able to try it with the Daynite Furnace. The pill fairy walked forward. She sent the Daynite Furnace floating over to the object. However, when the Daynite Furnace was a few miles away, it suddenly fell out of the sky and crashed into the ground. What Long Chen and the others were shocked. It was like an invisible hand was pressing the Daynite furnace into the ground. This earth essence has a terrifying gravitational field around it. My power is too low to get the Daynite furnace close to it, said the pill fairy. Gravitational field. They were shocked. This strange object actually possessed such a terrifying gravitational field that not even the pill fairy's Daynite furnace could approach it? Yes, it's too powerful. I can't sense any resistance or malice coming from it, 
but I still can't get close, said the pill fairy. Chu Yao nodded. That proves it has to be the core of the Jade Lake sacred land, the essence of Earth. It's the Earth inheritance of the Jade Lake Venerate. Based on what she left behind, the person to receive her inheritance must have an affinity with it. There's no way for someone to snatch it through power. That person has to have the right elemental runes with it. But we, Chu Yao's meaning was clear. They had no earth elemental expert here and could not connect to this earth essence. Even if there was an earth cultivator here, it would have to be someone with high enough talent to receive it. I'll try it. Lu Ruian refused to accept it like this. In her undying willow true body, she sent out countless branches at the earth essence. Those branches exploded while they were still a long way from the earth essence. She raged. How can this be? Earth births wood. There's no clash between our elements, but it won't even let me get close. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan or Cloud, Lu Ruian, and the Pill Fairy were all unable to find a solution. They looked from the earth essence to Long Chen. None of them had any ideas. Tang Wan or suddenly pointed a finger. A thin wind blade silently shot out at the earth essence. When Tang Wan or unleashed an attack, Long Chen and the others were completely shocked. Tang Wan Er's wind energy was completely different from before. Before, when Tang Wan Er wanted to use her wind energy, it would cause spatial fluctuations. However, now she was able to unleash this thin wind blade without causing any disturbance in the air around her. This thin little blade gave Long Chen a dangerous feeling. Perhaps even his body wouldn't be able to block this wind blade. Shockingly, Tang Wan Er's attack wasn't blocked at all. It struck the earth essence just like that and exploded. However, the earth essence wasn't affected. Tang Wan Er's attack didn't shake at all. It didn't even leave behind a mark. Physical attacks are useless, and magical arts can strike it but can't cause any damage. It seems we really can't do anything to this earth essence. Tang Wan Er shook her head. Now they all saw how powerful this earth essence was. Even a nether passage expert's attack was broken by it and the spatial channel had been sealed shut. Perhaps this earth essence was a protective measure the Jade Lake Venerate had left behind. This Jade Lake sacred land was left behind to those with destiny with its inheritances, which was why life star experts and above were not allowed to enter. The arrival of a nether passage expert's attack had broken its rules, causing the earth essence to appear and force the intruder away. That showed the crux of the problem. Even a nether passage expert was helpless to do anything to it. As for the pill fairy, due to the limitations of her cultivation base, she was unable to use the Danite furnace to strike it. No one else had any other ideas. The women all looked toward Long Chen. Long Chen seemed very relaxed. I never believed in fate or affinity, because fate has no affinity with me. However, I'm rather good at snatching things. Long Chen extended his hands. A lightning chain and flame chain shot out of his hands, wrapping around the earth essence. As expected, the earth essence didn't react. It allowed itself to be bound. Seeing that, Long Chen sighed with relief and said, Ladies, help me out. I need to borrow your spiritual yuan since my own is running out. Long Chen's divine ring once more appeared. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan Er, Lu Ruian and Cloud pressed their hands on Long Chen's back at the same time. As for the pill fairy, she hesitated before also reaching out a hand, slowly sending her spiritual yuan into Long Chen's body. With the spiritual yuan of the six of them pouring into his body, Long Chen activated the five-star battle armor. The ground beneath him crumbled as he pulled on the earth essence with all his power. How heavy! Long Chen was shocked. This earth essence was like a star. Even with all his power, he was only able to move it ever so slightly. As it moved, the ground beneath Long Chen exploded. Long Chen's expression didn't change. The earth essence was so heavy that the earth couldn't bear it. Suddenly, Lu Ruian unleashed her true body. Her roots sank deep into the ground, and she formed a platform for Long Chen so that he could use his power more effectively. Thank you. Long Chen was delighted by Lu Ruian's help. He continued pulling. But the earth essence was too heavy, and its progress was very slow. The earth essence fundamentally wasn't supposed to be taken like this. Taking away this earth essence was equivalent to forcibly taking away the core of this world. It was a destructive power. As the earth essence approached, 
Meng Chi and the others turned a bit pale. The energy exhaustion of Long Chen's five-star battle armor was absolutely terrifying. Their spiritual yuan was running out. Everyone, endure it. Just a bit more. Seeing the earth essence coming over more and more, Long Chen shouted out. He was covered in sweat, his arms trembling from the exertion. However, he still persevered. When the earth essence was just 300 meters away from him, he smiled. Suddenly, a black hole appeared in the sky. Long Chen roared, pulling the earth essence toward that black hole. When the black hole devoured the earth essence, Long Chen felt like the world was spinning around him. He fell down. Meng Chi and the others were also exhausted. Long Chen had sucked their spiritual yuan dry. However, coincidentally, the direction Long Chen fell was toward the pill fairy's embrace. The pill fairy immediately reddened and tried to push Long Chen toward Tang Wan Er. However, she was too exhausted. She could barely lift a finger. For a moment, the atmosphere was very awkward. The pill fairy was completely red, not daring to make a sound. She could only allow Long Chen to rest in her embrace. A feeling she had never felt before filled her heart. She felt her body softening and her heartbeat quickened. Her face was as red as an apple. Long Chen's head was resting on her chest. That position was too awkward. She did her best to control her breathing and heartbeat. But with her spiritual yuan and physical energy exhausted, she couldn't move. Worst of all, Long Chen's ear was against her chest. He could clearly hear her heartbeat. Her face was so red it looked like it was about to drip blood. Big sister, why is your face so red? Are you injured? Asked Cloud worriedly. I, I, it's nothing. I'm just tired. Long Chen, can you roll over? You're crushing me, said the pill fairy. Sorry, Long Chen did his best to lift himself from the pill fairy's embrace. However, he had used up too much energy, and his arms only got him halfway before he fell back down in her embrace. The pill fairy let out a startled cry. Meng Chi and the others had a faint smile as they looked at Long Chen dubiously. I swear I didn't do it on purpose. Even Long Chen blushed slightly at their staring and hastily testified to his innocence. In the end, it was Cloud who was the most innocent. As a Xuan beast, she recovered her physical energy quickly and pulled him up, relieving the pill fairy of her awkward position. The pill fairy eventually recovered enough to sit up. They all began to rapidly recover their energy. Chapter 1659 Leaving the Jade Lake Sacred Land Translator Born to be Long Chen recovered while examining the strange earth essence floating within his primal chaos space. It actually didn't fall to the ground. It simply floated there as if it couldn't merge with the ground. When he had sucked it into the primal chaos space, he had clearly felt a terrifying burst of power about to erupt from it, and it had been about to flee. However, just the slightest shaking from the primal chaos space caused it to turn still. The earth essence was now dull, like an ordinary piece of earth. Even its divine pressure had disappeared. Long Chen was thankful for the primal chaos bead. Otherwise, this priceless treasure would have been impossible to snatch. However, not just anything could be sucked into the primal chaos space. For example, the black illusion dragon flame. He hadn't dared to pull it into the primal chaos space for fear that it would destroy all his medicinal fields. The reason why he dared to do so with the earth essence was because it wasn't as berserk and explosive as the black illusion dragon flame. However, he hadn't expected the earth essence to attempt to flee. Fortunately, it had been suppressed by the primal chaos bead. As Long Chen could only control the slightest bit of the primal chaos space. He was unable to force it to listen to his orders. Hence, there were many things that he could only test bit by bit. After two hours, they had recovered a portion of their energy and slowly stood. Tang Wan'er had made great contributions when it came to taking the earth essence this time. Only she had had full spiritual yuan at the time. Otherwise, without enough spiritual yuan, Long Chen wouldn't have been able to draw it into the primal chaos space. Long San. Let's split our gains. The pill fairy's blush faded as if nothing had happened. Our gains? Asked Long Chen. The black illusion dragon flame is currently completely suppressed, and it has been refined into flame essence. However, it's too berserk, and after being suppressed, seeing that it had no hope, it actually exploded of its own volition. 
The energy it felt behind was refined into two portions, a berserk energy and an illusory energy. The pill fairy took out the Danite furnace, its runes revolved, and it turned transparent, allowing them to see what was inside. There were two spheres, each with one kind of rune around it. Those runes were the same runes as the ones in the Black Illusion Dragon Flame's eyes. Its eyes had represented its two different kinds of power, the softer illusory power and its fierce berserk power. Clearly, the pill fairy was letting Long Chen choose between these two kinds of power. Then I won't be courteous Long Chen delightedly waved his hand, and a golden flame dragon flew into the Danite furnace, swallowing the globe of berserk energy in one gulp. Long San, the pill fairy couldn't help being a bit guilty. The reason the black illusion dragon flame was ranked above the heaven incinerating flame wasn't just because its destructive power was greater than it, but because it possessed a strange kind of power. Its illusory energy was priceless to alchemists. This illusory power had its own special name, the Black Illusion Spirit Flame. It was the flame alchemists longed for the most. However, the Black Illusion Dragon Flame's berserk power was merged with its illusory power. To separate them required a great deal of time. Hence, the Pill Fairy had actually been quite lucky that this Black Illusion Dragon Flame had been too berserk and detonated itself upon seeing that it couldn't escape. To increase the power of its detonation, it had expelled all its gentler, more spiritual illusory power, and instead concentrated all its berserk power. That explosion had caused the pill fairy to receive a heavy injury at the time. Fortunately, the Danite furnace was extremely powerful, or even another divine item would have exploded from that. Due to this explosion, there was no need for them to separate the illusory power from the berserk power. In fact, it was even purer, as no matter what a person did, some of that berserk energy would remain in the illusory aspect. But here, the Black Illusion Dragon Flame had done it all on its own. The two types of energy were as pure as possible. The Pill Fairy naturally wanted the illusory aspect. But in truth, it had been mostly thanks to Long Chen that they had managed to obtain the Black Illusion Dragon Flame. If it hadn't been for him, she'd have long since given up on it. So, while she naturally wanted this Black Illusion Spirit Flame, she couldn't say it directly. That was why she gave the initiative to Long Chen. She was already prepared for Long Chen to take the Black Illusion Spirit Flame, because she knew that he was also an alchemist, and an extremely powerful one at that. The Black Illusion Spirit Flame posed a fatal attraction to alchemists. No alchemist could resist its lure. So the Pill Fairy's heart was conflicted. However, Long Chen had taken the Berserk energy without hesitation. That berserk flame had no use to alchemists. Hence, the pill fairy was both grateful and ashamed. She opened her mouth to speak, but she found that she had no reasons. He, I have two reasons, one real and one false. According to a normal person, I should say that I adore beautiful women and only the black illusion spirit flame is fit for your immortal grace. To be able to see you soar to the peak of the pill Dao would be my life's greatest fortune. Long Chen's mischievous smile completely ruined the effect of his words. The pill fairy reddened, not expecting him to say such words in front of Meng Chi and the others. Of course, that's all nonsense. That idiot Di Xin is the only one who would use such words to trick women. The truth is simply that this berserk flame is what I need the most. Even if you wanted it, I would have to fight to get it back because it's very important to me, said Long Chen matter-of-factly. These were honest words. The Black Illusion Spirit Flame might be the number one divine flame for alchemists. It could merge with the Pill Flame and support the alchemist, and that might allow them to refine a legendary peerless grade pill. Medicinal pills were divided into low grade, middle grade, high grade, top grade, and peerless grade. Top grade pills were already extremely rare existences in this world. As for peerless grade medicinal pills, they were restricted to just legends. No one had ever seen one. If the pill fairy had the black illusion spirit flame, she might just become the first person to refine a peerless grade pill since the dark era. However, all of that was just nonsense to Long Chen. He was surrounded by powerful enemies and could barely protect his own life. So how could he have any interest in pursuing the pill Dao? The berserk aspect of the black illusion dragon flame was precisely what he needed. It was pure brute power. 
Once Huo Long refined it, its power would probably defy the heavens. Furthermore, once Huo Long devoured its energy, it would still retain the power of the heaven incinerating flame. As Long Chen could refine pills with the heaven incinerating flame and fight with the black dragon illusion flame, he naturally didn't care about some illusory flame. All right, since we both contributed equally, we'll split it equally. It's very fair, said Long Chen. Thank you. The pill fairy was extremely grateful. From start to finish, she felt that Long Chen was simply saying this for her benefit. Anyone who was an alchemist wouldn't be able to resist the Black Illusion Spirit Flame's charm. In her eyes, Long Chen's explanation was only to make her feel better about herself. For him to even go that far for her, she felt even more grateful, as well as a bit lost. The Pill Fairy put away the Day-Night Furnace. After that, they rested for a full day, using their Heavenly Dao manifestation to recovery quickly. Long Chen only recovered to 50% in that time showing that compared to Empyreans, his recovery speed was still lacking. However, 50% was enough. They began flying toward where they had entered from. Like ascending mortals, they flew toward the moon up ahead. From up in the sky, they overlooked the mass of ruins. The scene when they had first entered had been completely wrecked. The women looked at Long Chen, Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan Er laughed. Wherever Long Chen went, destruction followed. It had been like this for so many years. Even this beautiful sacred land had been turned to ruins. The southern Xuan region's experts had been completely annihilated. Only Dishin had fled, or more accurately been saved. However, considering the ill omens Long Chen had read in his future, it was unknown if he lived or not. They entered the water and rapidly swam up. Once they were out, furious roars rang out. They were surrounded by golden tree demons. I'll open a path. Tang Wan'er walked to the front and slowly formed hand seals in front of her. Long Chen suddenly felt a strange fluctuation in space. As Tang Wan'er advanced, any tree demons within a hundred thousand meters exploded. It was like countless invisible blades were following Tang Wan'er, forming a domain that sliced the tree demons to dust. Golden specks rained down. This is the pinnacle of wind. Embryonic spatial blades, exclaimed the pill fairy with shock. Long Chen and the others were also shocked, as well as delighted. Unexpectedly, Tang Wan'er was able to use her wind inheritance so quickly. They followed Tang Wan'er. The golden tree demons crazily attacked, but they all exploded when they stepped into her domain. The ground turned golden. Tang Wan'er directly killed her way all the way to the exit. You've come out. Hurry and run through the secret transportation formation. Something major has happened. One of the Skywood Divine Palace's disciples was there waiting for them. Chapter 1660 The Southern Xuan Region Explodes Translator Born to be what happened? Asked Long Chen. I should be the one asking you. Just now, practically all the leaders of the top sects in the Southern Xuan Region rushed over to the Skywood Divine Palace. They looked like they wanted to destroy the Skywood Divine Palace right there and then. Even the Southern Xuan region's ancient family alliance's branch master came, as well as the Martial Heaven Alliance's branch master. All those large figures that haven't appeared in so many years have come. The palace master immediately sensed something was wrong and secretly told me to wait here for you so that you could run through the transportation formation. Eh? Why is it only just the few of you? Where are the others? Asked the elder. Meng Chi. Chu Yao and the pill fairy instantly understood that once those disciples had been annihilated, their corresponding soul jade tablets had shattered, startling their sects. Most sects would keep soul jade tablets of their core disciples. Using one drop of essence blood as a spiritual mark, it would shatter when that person died. The sects used this method to keep track of their disciples' life and death. Could it be? Seeing Chu Yao and the others' expressions, the elder was alarmed. She thought of an extremely terrifying possibility. Elder Luo, activate the transportation formation. Let's go, said Chu Yao. Clearly, the palace master had guessed what had happened and wanted to send Long Chen away secretly. Long Chen had annihilated the southern Xuan region's experts. That had included Han Fifi, Wang Shan, as well as countless famous heavenly geniuses. This was a major affair. If Long Chen walked out through the front gate, 
he would probably be torn to pieces by those ancient monsters. Good. Don't move. I'll activate the transportation jade talisman. It'll bring you outside the Skywood Divine Palace through the formation the Elder nodded, seeming to understand something. She took out a jade talisman. No need. I'll go through the main gates. Long Chen stopped the Elder from crushing the talisman. Long Chen, exclaimed Chu Yao. I might not look for trouble, but I'm not afraid of one. Since I dared to do what I did, I dare to bear the responsibility for my actions. I won't let someone else take the blame. It hasn't happened in the past, and it won't happen in the future. Long Chen shook his head and walked through the huge gate of light. That was the entrance they had used to enter here. Long Chen vanished from their sight when he walked through. Elder Luo was stunned. She had never expected Long Chen to be so crazy as to not even listen to the palace master's arrangements. Let's go. Don't you know Long Chen's temperament? Other than when we ask him to show tolerance. When has he ever conceded to anyone? Meng Qi seemed to have predicted this result and pulled Chu Yao through the gate with her. Tang Wan'er, Lu Ruian, and Cloud followed suit. The Pill Fairy watched as they vanished. She stood there quietly. Pill Fairy, you. Elder Luo was still dumbfounded. The palace master had sent her to bring Long Chen and the others away secretly. However, before she could even understand what was happening, the only one left in front of her was the Pill Fairy. I'll have to trouble Elder Luo to send me away. Too much enmity and grievance exist between us to be together. Maybe in the next life. The Pill Fairy's eyes were filled with sadness. Space twisted, and Long Chen appeared in a plaza. As soon as he appeared, he saw a group of people overflowing with killing intent. Long Chen, the Skywood Divine Palace's master had been trying to placate these experts when Long Chen and the others appeared. Her calm expression stiffened. These people were the top figures of the Southern Xuan region. They had come to the Skywood Divine Palace for one purpose, to find out how their disciples had died inside. However, when they had arrived, they were shocked to find others just like them charging over. When asked, they found that their talented disciples had also died in the Skywood Divine Palace. It had to be known that the Jade Lake pageant was not something with a high mortality rate. Their disciples mostly depended on luck and destiny to find suitable treasures inside the Jade Lake sacred land. There were no death traps. Some disciples had died there before. Since there were many cases of people killing others for treasures, a few disciples dying was normal. They had to have died to other people. So these sect leaders had come to investigate who had slain their disciples, only to find that over 80% of the southern Xuan region's top sect leaders had come. In other words, their disciples had also died. Furthermore, even the southern Xuan region's ancient family alliance and martial heaven alliance's branch masters had come. Even the ruler of the earth spirit city, the Wang family's master, had come. That person was the father of Wang Shan and Wang He. Han Fifi, Wang Shan, Wang He, and dozens of other Empyreans had all died in the Jade Lake Sacred Land. This time, all the southern Xuan region's experts charged out, demanding that the Skywood Divine Palace's master gave them an explanation. The palace master had no idea what had happened. The Jade Lake Sacred Land was a minor world isolated from them. Even she had no way to see what was happening inside. However, as soon as she had seen this many experts arrive, she had felt that something was wrong. The first thing she had thought of was Long Chen. There was no death trap in the Jade Lake Sacred Land. Even if there was, it wasn't one that would annihilate everyone. That made her heart clench. Thinking of how Long Chen had slaughtered practically all the Eastern Xuan region's heavenly geniuses in the Battle of the Grand Han, she guessed it had something to do with him. Thinking of that, she had immediately felt a chill. In order to placate these experts, she could only say that an accident must have occurred in the Jade Lake Sacred Land and that she would immediately investigate. So she had sent a soul transformation elder inside to wait for Long Chen and the others. Furthermore, she had also started gathering all the elite disciples within the soul transformation realm. She had intentionally stalled for time in hopes that the elder would be able to find Long Chen in time. But as a result, Long Chen suddenly appeared right in front of her. The thing she had been most worried about had really occurred. Long Chen's arrival raised quite a few startled cries. 
Many recognized the famous demon king of the eastern Xuan region, Long Chen. Why are you here? demanded a white robed elder. Her hair was white, and his eyes were like golden lanterns, giving off sharp light. This elder was the ancient family alliance's southern branch master. He was also Han Fifei's grandfather, Han Wanchang. Beside Han Wanchang was a short but exceptionally bulky middle aged man. He was Wang Shan and Wang Hei's father, the ruler of the Earth Spirit City, Wang Heishan. That Wang Heishan had cared deeply about his sons, so he had split his name and bestowed one part to each of them, calling them Wang Hei and Wang Shan. However, now that they had been annihilated, he felt like he was going insane. Why can't I be here? Is this your home? demanded Long Chen. Long Chen was well aware of why these people had come. However, he didn't want to run. That would not be in accordance with the Nine Star Hegemon Body Arts will. He couldn't retreat. Speak. How did my sons Wang Shan and Wang Hei die? shouted Wang Heishan, glaring at Long Chen. He had already made up his mind that Long Chen was the killer. Wang Hei was slain by Wang Shan. Many people here can testify to it, said the palace master. Just now, she had received a spiritual transmission from Meng Chi about what had happened. She had never expected so many twists and turns to occur in the Jade Lake Sacred Land. Furthermore, the four great inheritances of Earth, water, fire, and wind had all appeared. However, no matter what, those people had died at Long Chen's hands. These sect leaders were all overflowing with rage, and any explanation would be useless to them. Once they learned that Long Chen had killed them, they would definitely tear Long Chen to pieces. Long Chen, don't admit that you killed them. Just say something happened in the Jade Lake Sacred Land. I'll help mediate the rest so that you can leave safely. Messaged the palace master to Long Chen. Thank you for your kind intentions, but I can handle this matter, replied Long Chen. Long Chen knew that the palace master was helping him out, but he disdained lying. That was also not in accordance with the essence of the Nine Star Hegemon body art. Then who killed Wang Shan? Roared Wang Heishan. By the time all the sect leaders had rushed over, the disciples that had failed the trials had been amusing themselves in the Skywood Divine Palace for a few days and told them what they knew. So those disciples could truly testify about Wang He's death. I did. Long Chen pointed to himself calmly. When Long Chen admitted that he had killed Wang Shan, an uproar erupted. So he really had been killed by Long Chen. Die. Wang Heishan let out a furious roar and a punch at Long Chen. Divine runes surged out along the ground as he sucked away all the earth energy within thousands of miles. Wang Heishan was at the peak of the Life Star Realm. This punch contained all his power. It practically wrote out death for Long Chen. Boom. Long Chen's divine ring appeared behind him. He raised a palm, catching Wang Heishan's punch. After a powerful qi wave exploded, people were shocked to find that Wang Heishan's incredibly powerful punch was unable to rattle Long Chen in the slightest. Do you want to hear why I killed Wang Shan? Asked Long Chen. I don't care what your reason was. You killed my beloved son. So I'll kill your whole family. Wang Heishan let out a furious roar, and a dark yellow rune appeared on his forehead. A ray of light suddenly shot out of the ground at Long Chen's back. Even as he faced attacks from the front and back, Long Chen's expression was calm. He nodded. That was just the answer I was looking for. Thank you. I'm very satisfied suddenly. Five stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes. Ignoring the attack behind him, his leg struck like lightning at Wang Heishan's crotch. 